Like if you, you lose an arm, unless you play soccer, there's nothing you could do that could be great with your feet. Bro, you ain't got no leverage when you get coochie, bro. <laughs> <laughs> like, come on, think about it. Put that prosthetic going. Hold on, baby. Let me strap up. <laughs> let me strap let me, up. Let me get some upgrades in. <laughs> let me strap up. I'm about to, I'm about to rock your world once this shit clip in. <laughs> that. Oh, you, you started it? I thought you folded. Yo, yo, yo. Welcome back to another episode of No Records Podcast, episode number 81. I'm your host, DWK. Hey, Harris. the Kobe. Co- oh, wait. 81? Yeah, the Kobe episode. Oh, it is they Kobe. Dropped, when he dropped 81. Uh-huh. Damn. Was I didn't it, even notice. And Bishop 8. So he got Dang. the Kobe number. You feel so me? It, so it coexisted. Yeah, that's so what I'm saying. We did that on purpose. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I, I did that. You know, I lined up I on know, purpose. I know. Yeah, yeah. Of course. Right. You, you line that up on purpose to do all that perfectly. Because, you know, it's it's up here, bro. Yeah. Everything I do is strategic. Even if it's subconscious, it's, it's always conscious. You just cracked your neck? Yeah. Yo, that shit, like, yo, you don't crack your neck, bro? No. Look, look, hold on. For all stop, my people stop. that love compilations, oh. ASMR. ASMR. Put, a, yo, put, put put the mic towards your neck and crack it. I can't do it now. <laughs> but yo, yo I I went Hold to. You you never cracked your neck before? No. I could do it. Don't crack my neck. Why? <laughs> you fucking about to kill me? No, nah, bro. Look, look, because I went to my dad goes to a chiropractor, so I went for you the first time. Messed up the ASMR. I cracked all my knuckles in the camera and the mic. Now do your neck. Just no. go like this. Look, go no. like this, and then just you just got just little. Nope, didn't work. You did try hard enough. Nope. <laughs> I'm telling you, I'm not gonna lie, I'm like addicted to this shit. I got a strong neck. Never mind. Corey been very mooked today, kinda <laughs> know. No. <laughs> so we're gonna talk about this. Don't act like you didn't say what you said too though. Okay. We're we'll talking about it when we get there. We're gonna talk about it when we get there. Yeah, we're we'll talking okay. about it when we get okay. there. Okay, just make it sure. Hey, get back up. You back you didn't introduce you yet. Sit sit up first. Come on, stop. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not editing that shit out. <laughs> Lay down after we introduce you. Sit up. Here we go. <laughs> he's like, he's like, what are you doing, bro? <laughs> do you wanna do you wanna introduce oh now he's now he's leaving. <laughs> no, come back, please. <laughs> please come back, Bishop. Don't knock over the camera. That's what I got. Sit down, boy. Sit down. Good boy. This is episode eighty one, like Darius said. And this is actually not my episode. This is Bishop's episode. Yes, yeah, it's Bishop's episode. I'm just a, I'm just a star like a little guest star. You're the you're the co host. He's yeah. the star guest. Yeah, no, he's the like this is his episode. I'm just here. The the, the chaperone. <laughs> he's just chaperoning. <laughs> yeah. You're you're speaking for him. Yeah, yeah. If yeah. he could talk, this is what he's gonna say, is what you're saying. So, so how the, where, where are you going? Bishop, where are you going? Oh, dude, no, he's going behind. Nigga. Dude, dude. Bishop. Bishop. Over here, bud. <laughs> not behind the camera. Ooh, walk, that, <laughs> walk that way. Not this way. <laughs> <laughs> well, welcome back to another episode. Like I said, if y'all like the merch, merch coming out soon. New hoodies. New uh, zip-up hoodies. Yo, I got the straight from China, bro. Great manufacturers. Nah, that's a, that's a nice hoodie. You like it? Would you cop it? I would if I wasn't broke. For the right price? What, what price would you cop it as? That's like a $50 hoodie to me. I was, I was thinking like $50, $55. I, I, like nothing f- too, I don't want nothing too crazy. I like a $60 hoodie to me. But like for the, for the Nick, for the people though. Yeah, like, yeah, for the people. Like, no, but like for the people, like if we, if we make a profit, like, like $70, $80. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, yeah. Like, 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 <laughs> 120, 120, 120 hoodie. 120, 120, 120 no, hoodie. No regular text. <laughs> <laughs> the, I finally, I got a, no, I got sent, I told you, I got sent this one back to get yeah, it washed. You, you want it, ble- I could do that, I could do it over here. I, just, I could, I learned, I seen it on TikTok too, but I'm I'm afraid like I'm going to fuck it up. So I'm just like, you know, let me let the professional niggas do it. You're going you to have to sweep after this episode. What, he sheds a lot? <laughs> you don't see, it's already falling off me. Oh, I can't see. I don't really got nothing on my hands that much. Oh no, it's on my my, uh, my my pants. So I know what dogs don't shed. Is it the ones with curly hair? No, I mean like this is like these are two coated dogs. Yeah. So they all two coated dogs shed for the most part. Yeah. Like pit bulls, they shed. Yeah. Short hair, short, short hair, hair sheds. Yeah, they shed. So like yeah, I guess like curly hair dogs, like like hair. poodles and shit. Yeah, English setters, stuff like that. Okay. The Freaky. whack dogs. The whack shed, dogs. Yeah. Now, Bishop's a cool dog, though. I ain't oh, gonna no, no, he sheds. That's all the whack dogs don't shed. Oh, Where all the are whack you do- going, dude? <laughs> like, if you're going to walk, walk in the camera. Let everybody see you. You're so pretty. Yeah, show off show off your... He's really like an anime dog. Like, it looks like he'll be part of an anime. Lib, is, he, is he in the camera, Liv? He's really a human. Is he in the camera or he's not? You see, what, you see his ears? I mean, if my knee's in the camera, he should be. 
All right, that's fine. <laughs> but I wanted to, because I remember, because I remember me and Jay was talking about, because you know Jay got like three dogs, three, four dogs, uh-huh. but she has little dogs. I want a freaking, I want like a big dog. Like I want a German Shepherd. Yo, we, have, we have a lot of German Shepherds at my job. We have one named Loki. Yeah. Fucking love him. Oh, really? I, I he's heard, big as hell, though. Like, like big, like bigger than Bishop? Yeah, yeah. No, he, he's way bigger than Bishop. He make Bishop like a Like, like, like a, a little pool. dog? <laughs> what the fuck? He, so, like, do you think he, like, he's easy to train? Um, so we had a dog before Bishop named Mac. That was and the same breed? Same breed, Akita. And he was a nightmare. Like, he... It just depends on the dog? Yeah, like, like he was perfect. Like, we, like, like we barely trained. He never went in the house, like, since, like, he was a puppy. Really? He never went in the house, you know. Did he, he bark a lot? I mean, his his breed don't bark. Akita's don't usually bark. So, okay. Like, and if he barks, like, it's like... Yo, what's going on in there? Like, like what the fuck happened? Yeah, yeah. Like, yo, go check out to see what happened. What, yeah, like, what, yeah. What it's like an alert at? bark. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Like, I probably heard him bark like maybe five times in eight years. Really? Yeah. So like, I heard him howl once. Like he doesn't. That's make, tough. He doesn't make noise. What the fuck? So even when the like, because I know Jay's dogs when people come to the door they start barking. Yeah, and shit. nah. It, I won't know if somebody walked in the house. What the fuck? You just go look at him? Mm-hmm. <laughs> I mean, like I said, if, if I, I, I he'll run downstairs. But let's say like I'm in the bathroom or in the shower or something, yeah. or like my door is closed or whatever, I won't know. <laughs> <laughs> so like, I mean, I asked you before, does he do any tricks? Um, he but, knows Paul. Mm-hmm. He knows Sit. He's a he's an old man, but he's not he's yeah, not he's not into he, the tricks no more, bro. You say he's eight, right? So what is that fifty something? I mean, if you, it's a calculator for his specific breed. It's yeah. not really seven years, seven years, seven years. It's yeah. like it's like seven, seven, five, five, five. So what do you what do you think he is like? I think about I think about forty five. Forty five, maybe fifty. Damn, is he up there? You ain't gonna let him get no coochie, bro. We've been trying, yo, yo. If anybody watching the pod, yo, if y'all see, if y'all got another Akita. That's only we doing Akitas. We don't we don't, we don't mix breeds over here. <laughs> we got another Akita. You know, my boy tore at his balls. He still he still he still got enough in him. He got bullet wounds. This yeah, my, gangster, my son, bro. my son, fifty, my son, Tupac over here, bro. This nigga lived from a bullet. When we got bullet, right? Almost lost his shit in his meat, bro. That's what I'm saying. He got the strong meat, bro. His meat, his meat, uh, <laughs> his meat survived the bullet. So you feel me? You want to? You want some puppies, yo? He's pedigreed. You feel me? He's kettle kennel cub. So like, let's let's get him, bro. That's tough. That's tough. But one pet I actually want, I want a giant rabbit. Yeah. Now, I, I, okay. I now, hear about this, now I want to tell you about it. Right? It's called. Because I was think I was looking, I seen a video on TikTok. First, I wanted a giant cat. You ever heard of a like Savannah cat? I want one of those too. Not, it's, it's called a, a Maine Coon. That's it, not a giant cat. That's though. pretty. It's big as it's no, ca- not the man coon. That's a cat slash raccoon. That's a cat raccoon. Hybrid. No, it's not. Yes, it is. Is you're it talking really? about the same thing? A man coon. That's them. Should be like this big. It's not. They're not that big. Okay, which one you talking about? You're talking Savannah? about like the the Vanna cats uh, the, or the uh, what's that called? Ocelots. Ooh, an ocelot. That's what you're talking about. A man coon is is not that big. So are those but like, they're like they're like raccoon. They're 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 mixtures of raccoons and cats. Oh yeah, yeah. These ones, these ones is the big ones. Yeah, that's what you're talking about. So how big do these usually get? Like, they they're like mm, I don't know. Oh, like this? That's what you're talking about. Yeah, they I, get big, bro. Bro, I want a fucking. I want right, this is the giant bunny I want, bro. Cause like just imagine you walk in my crib, you see a rabbit like half the size of Bishop. I know what the giant bunny look like. I was like, why would you want that? That's just that tough. <laughs> I mean, I can't talk. I want a skunk. I wouldn't be mad at you. I want. I really do want a skunk. They sell them in Lodi. Like, yeah, no, I see. Like, I be seeing that shit all the time. Yeah, I want. I want Isn't it like a hundred dollars? Not eight, but still, like you know, eight hundred. Oh, okay. I really want one. I really want. I want a skunk. I want a ferret. I want a mini pig. I want, what, all, I want all types of stuff. So like, like I man, want a duck. They sold, they sold a duck for like $12. I Jay, Jay had a duck before. Did you bought one or she just found it? No, she she bought, like her parents bought a duck. Like they had a pet duck. I need, I need Like that duck, nigga, man. like they had her had him when he was like a baby. Uh-huh. And then he grew up to be like like this big. But I like he killed himself. Like <laughs> like he, like they just woke up and his head was like outside the cage, like like break, broken and shit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, I shouldn't laugh at that. That but. nigga committed something. I don't know what nah, happened. I need a duck. No bro. animal abuse over here. I need a duck, bro. I need a giant. Like them rabbits be like this. Big. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, I know exactly what, what you're talking. What about. are they called? I don't know. Giant I know the, rabbits. <laughs> I, I seen know. the name. I seen on TikTok. Them. Sh- I need one, bro. I know exactly what you're talking about. I wouldn't want one though. Why? I feel like they, like I feel like a, I don't want a regular rabbit. So I don't want. To, like, I think the the worst part about a rabbit is that I think it poops a lot. They poop a lot. That really do. Yeah. They poop a lot, and they like just. The little rabbits chew on everything. So yeah. imagine a giant rabbit. But it's like, 
Yo, imagine you walking, you walk him. No, that'd be tough. That's like, an it's like a party. Shit. It's like a party. Shit. Like, yo, what are you doing here with a with a, a big with a ass rabbit? rabbit that's you know? what I'm saying. Like that's, that's what I said. That's why I want a skunk for like walking my house. Like, oh, skunk. Like, chill. That's my pet. <laughs> but what do you what do you think that you think they pick them off the streets and just fucking like take the the shits out? No, I mean, because there'd be a lot of skunks around that area. I don't. I I think the ones. That they sell are bread now. Okay, so like I don't they, think I don't think they're just picking up skunks off the street now. <laughs> I, but it definitely started like that. I had to. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't think I think eventually it stopped, and now they're just breeding the skunks. Do they have any other cool animals like lynxes? They, they have a, a what? A lynx? Like a like a little like a little bobcat? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <Talking about lynx? laughs> yeah. No, they don't have that, bro. Is that, is that too wild? <laughs> yes, bro. <laughs> That's so deep. Bro. Look, they'd be like a lynx. What the fuck? <laughs> They have like there's like a like a lemur monkey thing or a kuda mon a kuda a kuda munde. I thought you said a kuda matata. No. <laughs> <laughs> I was a, like, what the a munde is that's what it's something like it's called something like. Do you have that. chinchillas? They do. They have chinchillas. I never knew chinchillas are pretty like common. They have, they have uh, yeah. I mean, they're also common like you know coats, but you know what chinchillas? That. Yeah, chinchilla yeah. coats. You know, is a chinchilla coat? Yeah, that's like hella bread, they, but they, they, they kills. Oh, chichella. coat! I thought you said colt. Oh no, no coats. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah. I was like, yeah, I'm like, or yeah. mink. You know, chichella, mink, same thing. Oh, mink. Wait, mink is an animal. Yeah. What? You, that's you, like the little cats. No, it's like a little like, like kind of like a chinchilla, like a mole uh, or something. Uh, I call it mink coats. Like, I, I thought that was just the name of the brand. I'm not even gonna no, lie to no, you. That's the name of the animal that they fucking skin. That's kind of to get to the put on the coat. That's kind of crazy. <laughs> Damn. They had, they sell mini pigs in there. They sell hella birds. I wouldn't want uh, okay okay mini pig, so that means it doesn't get bigger. No, nah, I would probably say like the size of a house cat. Really? Mm-hmm. Oh, that's the one that be seeing that be going around on TikTok and shit. Mm-hmm. Oh, what the wait? That's kind of weird though. That's like it's a piglet. Oh, so it's just a, it stays a pig. So it's basically like a, a midget pig. It's like a chihuahua, a chihuahua pig, a, ch- a chihuahua pig. <laughs> <laughs> that's kind of. T- I think Jay said she wanted a pig too. I, I just want. want one. They're like three thousand now, but I still want one. I just want an exo- like some exotic animal in my crib. Yeah, I want. I want. Yeah, I would want that too. I want people to walk in my house and be like, "Yo, why do you have that?" Be like, <laughs> "Why don't you have?" Why it? is it a polar bear in your house? <laughs> Nigga, I'll be like Mike Tyson. Did you bro. hear the story about the dude that had? He was lived in a regular NYC apartment, and he had a tiger, a alligator, or a crocodile, and like I want to say, another big cat. Like a like a lion or something, just chilling in his apartment. It was or no, it was a a a, a tiger, a komodo dragon, and a crocodile in and, his and apartment. Living a regular New York City apartment, and the way somebody found out is because the tiger was looking out the window, and it was like, <laughs> wait, I think I seen. It that. was like that a tiger looking out the window. Like <laughs> imagine walking down the street. And then you just look out your window, looking up at the windows. You're like, hold on, is that, is that a fucking tiger? I think I've seen that. It looked like a project building, right? Yeah, it's a regular New York, like New York City project building, bro. Par- apartments. He kept the he kept the uh, he kept the uh, the crocodile in, in the, the bathroom. bathtub. Yeah, in the bathtub. He kept the the tiger in like in the, one of the bedrooms, and he had kept another the, the komodo dragon in another room. And I don't know where he slept. Like, who do you call for that shit? I don't not in New York. I don't. That's know. what I'm saying. Like, who the, the fuck zoo? you call? Like, <laughs> do you what? Stop. Oh, it stopped. Sorry, folks. Caribou's went a little buggy. Libby, it's all good, right? They're all straight. All right. Technical difficulties. Technical difficulties. Oh, move it, movie camera. Uh, let's say camera mic up a little bit. All right, so we back. So yeah. So about that New York City shit, bro. I think I see now on TikTok. So who the fuck do you call? About that <laughs> shit, the zoo. Yeah, like do you call animal you, control? Like, well, imagine, imagine you work at animal control, right? And they're like, they're like, oh, we got to call. There's a, there's a tiger. What, what was it? A tiger? A, a tiger? A, a komodo dragon? Like bless bless you, Bishop. <laughs> <laughs> a komodo dragon and like a a, a croc. I know for sure. This is my water, bro. Leave me alone. <laughs> I know for sure a crocodile. A crocodile, bro. Just no, but I, my only my only thing is, how did you get them all in there? <laughs> you know what? It had to, they had to, he had to been breeding them since they was babies. I mean, so he had to sneak them. Like, there's no way like he snuck them and walk them out. Like nah. he had to sneak like sneak them in there like as as they was puppies, and then never had brought them in again. That's kind of <laughs> so dangerous. Took my side again, because like them them motherfuckers, they tell all in the the camera, buddy. <laughs> the fuck, you good? <laughs> Anyway, <laughs> <laughs> sorry, Bishop moment, Bishop moment. I feel like, like especially 
Like them niggas was not bred to like they 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 haven't they probably never seen like outside. In years. That's why he was looking at the window like, yo, what is this? I'm not gonna lie, I would have been scared if I was the niggas. Bishop, where the fuck you going? Do not hit the camera, please. Go to go to Corey. You big ass dog. <laughs> like I'll be scared. Like a man, he probably never seen other humans before with weapons. Nothing, he probably, he probably that was his first time encountering everything. Like, yo, what is this? Nah, what am I looking out at this window? Nah, yo? fucking tiger. See, that's crazy. I want to. The biggest animal I fucking want is probably like a goddamn. I would take a tiger if I had the space for it. Not in my. I wouldn't apartment. want no damn tiger. I mean, yeah, nah. I'll like you can't even that. cuddle with the tiger. I mean. You can at your own risk. You could, but like I don't want to cuddle <laughs> the never, tiger that could fucking kill me. What's you he never exploring. You never, yeah. He's just he's exploring your room. <laughs> <laughs> but you never, yeah. I mean, you, you you can just at your own risk. You never know. What's nah, gonna I can't. But like the only big animal I probably get is like a monkey, like a chimp. You know, no, you're crazy. Why? I'll get a tiger over a chimp no, any like, day. Bro. I know, I know, chimps. They, they can eat your face, but I'm like, if I have one, he's a baby. You know, I just. N- n- and then one day he just gets mad and rip your face off. You know why I'd rather take a tiger? Why? If the tiger gets mad at me and decides that he doesn't like me no more, he's going to kill me. Oh, the, the, the chimp won't kill the you? The chimp's not going to kill you. He's going to torture you and leave you alive. And now you got to walk the, live the rest of your life. With no face? With no face, no toes, no penis, no, pe- no, no penis. fingers, no nothing. Then he's going to rip off everything? No, no, yeah, he's going to make sure that you're just like this living Vegetable, <laughs> Lim- yeah, vegetable, <laughs> living, limbless thing. <laughs> wow, <laughs> that just has a heartbeat. All right, how about a, how about a, how about a sea otter? They're so like the the giant ones are like a regular one. The cute Gi- ones, the giant, the ones. giant ones are low key like dangerous. evil. Yeah. Hey, 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 get away oh, from the camera. Sit down. My bad. <laughs> I'm sorry. I didn't know you were about to sit down. But yeah, nah. <laughs> the giant ones are like low key, like vicious. <laughs> Don't they? I heard they like be like fucking dead yeah, bodies yeah. and shit. Yeah. Oh, whoa! I didn't hear about that. I thought you were gonna say fucking shut up. That no, was... they be they be fucking dead bodies, like dead otters. Do they really? Yeah, like Necro- I... there's that necrophilia. Yeah, they're a necrophiliac. Hey, man, somebody gotta do it. What? Huh? <laughs> 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 what? <laughs> you say that? I'm just saying, somebody gotta do it, right? Why? Why not? Let it I, be? I hope nobody would want to do that. Or got to do that. I mean, if somebody going to do it, I'd rather be an otter than, you know, a human. I heard penguins do that also. <laughs> I didn't hear that. I, I heard know, penguins. You know, this pair of penguins could be gay, though. It, it, remember that TikTok, Instagram post I sent you? Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. The study is that gay penguins. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> I heard, like, I heard penguins are very bad. Like, I heard they, like, say, like, they, um, they don't get, like, a, like a, like a female penguin, like, has, like, What's that called? A miscarriage or some shit like uh-huh. that? They'll go search for like other people's like hatchlings and take Let's their take hatchling. their baby. Yeah, <laughs> they'll take their babies. They'll freaking they'll they'll fuck their bodies. They'll like uh, I think they'll like gang up on niggas and like jump niggas. Like you know how they run like uh-huh. clicks. They'll they'll jump like other like random penguin gangs. I didn't hear about that. I mean, I think I knew about the they'll take their baby, take the babies and shit. Yeah. Cause happy happy feet make it seem like oh they all so cute and cuddly they really not cute and cuddly. I mean Madagascar also made also made it seem like lions no. are cuddly. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> That's true. They That's made true. it see, they made it they made it they made, it, they made you believe a hippo was actually like cool. I know right. Like a, like, like, like a hippo, friendly. giraffe, and a zebra, and a lion can hang out and be friends. The giraffe is cool. Yeah. I feel like until they start swinging that neck. Now I gotta change the subject. <laughs> no, actually, we can we can we can go on this since we're talking about animals, bro. I got I got a question to ask you, right? Where where the fuck my question now, nigga? Oh, fuck your question. Oh no, I got a question. All right, so which one are you fighting for a hundred million dollars? Three full grown Rottweilers by yourself, but you have brass knuckles. Rottweilers. Rottweilers. Mm-hmm. Or what I say? No, I was just. Quick. Oh, okay. Or one full grown Jaguar Jaguar with me. So what was the first one? Three full grown Rottweilers by yourself with brass knuckles. So Jaguars kill gorillas. But but you got me with you. So it's me and you barehanded. Yeah, but guess what? Me and you are not being a gorilla. <laughs> <laughs> so But 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 think about it. Jaguars weigh like two ten. Two ten. But like but like a full grown Rottweiler would be like one one fifty, one eighty. So you got three of them bitches. Okay. They're but, not <laughs> a jaguar kills gorillas, bro. They hunt them. Okay, 
and a gorilla is a hundred times stronger than us. <laughs> probably more. But gorillas take pussy though. Yeah. Okay. They probably they are. You know. You know what? You might be onto something, right? Because if a ja- if we start fighting the jaguar back, he's gonna probably be like, "All right, That's what I'm it's saying. not worth the fight." Because they're actually fighting back. The thing is, one of us is gonna get hurt. Really one of us are going to die. No, no, no. One of us might not die. It might not. We might not die. We'll just be like very injured. Like somebody's gonna get damn near mauled to death. Or what if the jaguar just chooses a fair fight and drag one of us in the tree and one v one us in the tree? Well, you better come. come. You better come help me. You better not let this nigga drag me up. Oh a tree. yeah, I'm gonna climb this tree too. <laughs> I'll be, because look, this is what's gonna happen, right? So say jaguar attacks you. Uh-huh. I climb on his back. Choke hold. I, yo, that's yo. I like that's how the option for everything. Every time we talk about fighting the animal, we're just gonna climb on this animal's back. But what else we gonna do? Him. We can't be in face to face. This shit gonna bite the shit out of me. Yo, if Bishop with his full strength right now, that like restrains us from me pulling his head back, we're gonna have to. Uh. <laughs> so imagine a jaguar. Bro. Okay, but you gonna pick three Rottweilers by yourself? Will I have brass knuckles. Yeah. I mean, what if I one shot all of them? <laughs> you know what? Cause I was thinking, if I was thinking like if I was in that situation, I'll grab a Rottweiler and throw it. But that's just type heavy. You know, you know why I'm, I'll take the Jaguar. Why? At least both of us gonna die. The fuck you want me to come down with you? You don't yeah, want to die. Yeah, for me, at least I'm not gonna die by myself. I'm gonna die with a friend. So yeah, let's go. Let's fuck the Jaguar. Real right? nigga. Real <laughs> nigga. <laughs> Real nigga. <laughs> Real nigga. At least I'm gonna die with my friend. At least you know what I mean. <laughs> at least you don't die alone. Yeah, time that's what I'm shit. saying. At least we go like go to heaven with a story. Like yo, God, yo. God. <laughs> Guess how we died. <laughs> Guess how we got up here. <laughs> nah, that's crazy. You should see the other guy <laughs> as he's eating our corpse. <laughs> yo, bro. Oh my god, bro! At least with the white wires, I'm like, damn. <laughs> but like, yo, we could, it's, bro. You never heard them stories? Like, you heard that guy that freaking killed the 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 cougar by himself? Yeah, not with his bare hands. It was with his bare hands. He had a weapon. What do you have on? I him? don't know. It was it, he, he fucking choked. He hit him with a rock. <laughs> okay, I don't. I, I I know the story. I don't know. You know the story, right? Yeah, I don't like, know if he killed him with his bare hands. It was like a though. it was like a jogger or some shit like uh-huh. that. That's that was a big. Oh, he fought him. Yeah, he did he fight him back. He did fight. But that's the thing. That's why I said we might have a chance though, because the cougar realized well. He killed the cougar, right? He killed the cougar. Damn, he must have been Russian. Russian? He had to be Russian. But like, I feel like once you <laughs> once you're in that mode, like I'm about to die, I uh-huh. gotta go crazy. Like nothing, like you become a gorilla. Yeah, but you also said jaguar, not a mountain lion. <laughs> ja- I mean, jag- mountain lions are like what, like what, a buck fifty? A uh, jaguar is like ten times more vicious than a mountain <laughs> lion. <laughs> but like, I think that once the jaguar realizes, like I, right, I can't just eat these niggas. It's gonna stop. He's gonna like, all right, hold on. Let me come back with some backup or let me just chill. Oh, I think I think we got I think we'll be okay. So oh, I, 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 we're both definitely gonna like lose a finger at least. Yeah, maybe like an arm or a hand. No, not a hand, like if I lose an arm, he could just finish me off, bro. Why? You don't want you can't go without one arm? Nah, man. Take a leg, bro. What? Why would you I'd rather go? I, come on. How, how much do you really do with your leg, bro? That, walk? You, you do way more with your arms than you do with your legs. You walk. Yeah, all right. I could get a prosthetic. Okay, you know how much work that is? Yo, you could get a prosthetic leg, right? When you get a prosthetic arm, you can't use that prosthetic you arm. You don't even bro. need, yo, if you have your right hand, you good. You just need one, like, you don't need both hands. Oh, you, okay, you're never gonna play video games again. You can find a way. I see these niggas on With t- one hand? You, bro, I see niggas on TikTok. They got no hands playing video games. How? You, bro, there's a nigga on TikTok that that plays video games with no he's hands. He's not bro. good at the game. He's nice as fuck. <laughs> at Apex Legends, he's nice as fuck. Bro, there's a nigga that plays Fortnite and he's he's in a wheelchair. He's paralyzed from the neck down. Well, he uses this. Yes, I swear to God, Corey. He can't be good I swear to he can't be Corey. Good he game, had bro. 17 kills in he Fortnite, can't be good bro. The game, bro. Like he literally <laughs> goes like this. <laughs> You're cheating, bro. No, bro. No, bro. <laughs> he not no, really playing, bro. bro. Hold on, let me. Oh shit, bro. I'm telling you, no handed video gamer. Bro, I gotta struggle. Why can't I just use both my hands and like feel me? Use a prosthetic leg. Look at dude, man's. All right, bro. Let me see him play a video. He made he eating Oreos. All right, this is the dude that don't. He's literally blowing into the controller. Like, he has a special controller. That's nice gameplay. That is, bro. I'm not jacking it, bro. Look, look, look. 
He got no hand. He looks like he's struggling, bro. Bro, but he's look how he going stupid. He but like that's so much work. You think I'm? You, I'm okay. Not, you think I'm gonna go through that? Like I, right, I'm gonna, you, I'm gonna learn how to play this video. But you rather struggle like without walking? Yo, I could get a prosthetic. Like I, I can still walk. But think about it. You can't stand. You can't use that prosthetic in the shower. So, so like you like, unbalance so you, shit. So, so you wanna? You just wanna? Pro, you wanna? Do I want to shower. I want to walk. Okay, so like this. Let me think. If you lose an arm, right? Yes. You lose an arm, so okay. you rather lose a leg. You rather use a leg than an arm. Or I rather arm. lose an arm than a leg. You can't do any like what? What are you gonna do that like? I'm, I'm, I'm trying. How much I word this right? What am I gonna do more? So, than- it's nothing that you can do now, right? Your normal life is still over, bro. Like if you're missing an arm, right? No, it's not. It's not as over as if if you lose a leg. No, it's, yo. Let's put it as is, right? So we play basketball for fun, right? Yeah. If you lose an arm, you can never play basketball again. No, you seen that one dude that played with with uh, Devontae <sighs> Frigo, bro. I see I see way oh more people. Oh my god. Okay, I'm not I, talking about him, bro, because he's, he's going, not he, good, bro. We got we got fucking Hansel Emmanuel. That's, that's what I'm talking about. He's I'm not, talking about the white boy. That, okay, now he has a little nub. He's actually pretty good. I'm lying. He's pretty good. Okay. But he's played his whole life without an arm. Bro. Okay. You haven't played your whole life without an arm. I probably won't play nothing, bro. I just want to I want to walk though. You, you won't be able to play basketball walk. either. That's my point. So if I can't do nothing athletically, right, I'm going to be the best wheelchair dude ever then, bro. Why? <laughs> like, I'm going to be great with my hands. How like, you if you lose an arm, unless you play soccer, there's nothing you can do that can be great with your feet. Bro, you ain't got no leverage when you get coochie, bro. <laughs> <laughs> like, come on, think about it. Put that prosthetic on. Hold on, baby. Let me strap up. <laughs> Let me strap Let me up. Let me get some upgrades in. <laughs> Let me strap up. I'm about, to, I'm about to rock your world once this shit clip in. <laughs> With one nut, you got to be like, come here, baby. Hold on. Let me grab you like this real fast. <laughs> oh, wait, wait. Stop moving. I can't, I can't get I you. I can't move on. <laughs> can't get you. You stop moving too much. I got only, only got one hand. You got to go to the right side. You got to go leave the right. <laughs> bro, I'm telling you, bro. I'm telling you, one. <laughs> I'd rather lose an arm than a leg, bro. Nah. There's too much mobility, bro. I'll be the best artist of all time, bro. <laughs> you could be an artist with one arm? Yeah, but like, at least I could be like. You're right. <laughs> Tell you, bro. Just just get rid of I'm that not, arm, bro. I swear to God, I'm not Get rid of that arm. arm, bro. I'll be the best streamer of all time. <laughs> <laughs> you could be a streamer? No, but like you if the- I lose a if I lose an arm, bro, like I'm just walking around with one arm. <laughs> <laughs> when there's a will, there's a way, my brother. Like you know, you know how instinctively I can just go like I can't do that no okay, more, bro. You can't you will never be you can't even run. But like, if I lose an arm, I'm not running either, though. What do you mean? You can still run. I can still run, but you think I'm going? Like, what am I running for? <laughs> <laughs> like, I, what, what, am, what am I? What am I? What am I staying in shape for? Like, like, <laughs> like I, I don't have an arm no more. Your life bro. is over. <laughs> yes, bro, I don't have an arm no more. Like, what am I staying in shape for? I'm bro? sorry to all the veterans that may be watching this that might. Oh no, no. Life. So let me say this: I, I have no will. Like, if it's a life or death situation, I'm gonna die, bro. <laughs> I have no will part. Like I, I, could, I commend all the veterans. But you're, you're like you're, you watch Forrest Gump, right? Yeah. Remember when he saved that nigga? And he was uh, mad yeah, as fuck? kill me, bro. That, please. That's you. Yes. That's gonna be you. Kill me, bro. <laughs> My legs are gone. No, keep me in this nuke, bro. I don't want to survive. Bro. Keep me in the napalm shirt, yes, bro. <laughs> let let the shit finish me, bro. <laughs> Put me down, <laughs> Forrest. You dumb fuck. Put me down, bro. <laughs> don't, don't don't save me. That please. was a great movie. I ain't gonna lie. I bro. love Forrest Gump. I watched it at least three times a month. A month? Yeah. Would you? Would, did you? That kind of made me. Jenna. Oh no, that, that part made me kind of sad when she died at the end, bro. Man, I don't. I don't. Got my, I got my personal opinions about that. What? She hold around her whole life, know, treated him like shit, got, got pregnant AIDS. by him, and then was like, "You want to marry me for us?" And they got AIDS. No, it was. Hep- I read the book. It was hepatitis. 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 Yeah, either oh. B or C. Yeah, but wait, didn't in the movie in the movie it said AIDS, right? No, nah, they never said what it was. Oh, but niggas just suspected because yeah. of the time. Yeah, but like, yeah, yeah, that time, was a great what, movie. What else killed her? You know. Yeah, but think about it, if if she had AIDS and that baby, or he got four AIDS. Four AIDS. <laughs> what about oh HIV? Ooh, type shit. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying. So yeah, no, nah, it was hepatitis B or C. I was still kind of sad when she died. Though. I'm I was too, cause like damn, like, but she only wanted to be like 
I I Forrest like because yeah. the, I'm about to die now. Let's let me live my life happy. Yeah, the rest of my life happy now. You feel because me? of Forrest, if she it, still wasn't if she wasn't dying, she wouldn't be with like, Forrest. Wow, I feel bad. He did love. everything for her, bro. Yeah, uh, man, he did. Uh, yo, uh, if nobody loved nobody more than Forrest loved uh, Jenny, bro. I need to find me a, a Jenny. <laughs> no, you don't need to find you a Jenny. You nah, nah, find, you're right. You don't. You need to find, you need to find you me a forest. forest. No homo. <laughs> <laughs> a, no forest, homo. a girl that acts like a forest. Yo, forest would go to the end, like, of, the, end of the world really with Jenny, went, bro. Really went almost around the world. Just because he was sad about Jenny, bro. He was so sad about Jenny, he just started running for four years. Bro. Four years straight, bro. He's like, I'm going to run for four Nick years. created Nike and shit. <laughs> Nigga created hell of shit. bitch left me. <laughs> And then Bubba, bro, when Bubba died. Oh, nah, that was sad. Damn. Bubba, I gotta save Bubba. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, man. He's like, he's like wait for us. <laughs> <laughs> he said, am I, gonna, am I gonna die for us? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. You ever been to that Bubba Gum shrimp place? No. They have it at, like, Universal Studios. Did it really? Yeah. I just assumed it was, like, one in Alabama. Nah, they, I think Queen it's like, Bo Alabama. <laughs> I watched that movie too much, bro. Nah, I love that movie. But what said, it, sorry with the, 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 the Lieutenant Dan. Lieutenant she, Dan. She tasted like cigarettes. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, bro. But you want to get into your, your top five saddest movies? Okay, let's do that. Yeah, let's start the top five draft saddest movies. We don't got a draft, dude. We could just like tear our top five. I was going to, I mean, still. Oh, you want to? Oh, you want to do it like what? Like yeah. in general? Okay, yeah. you can go first. You go okay, first. Okay, so my first movie. Let me get my list. You know ready. what? I'm not going to say my first movie because I don't think you're going to say it. And if you do, I'm going to be mad at you. But my first movie, I'm going to go Marley and Me. Damn! What the? I fuck? knew he was gonna say that movie, so that's why I said Marley and me. Nah, now. I can't. We can't do this. Like, I don't know that many movies. Let's, <laughs> let's just do. Let's just draft. Like we're both like on the same team. Okay. So Marley and me is a sad movie. That is, bro. When the nigga di- the dog died, that bro, was very sad. Bro. I I cried. I cried. No, that's one of the movies that I really cried to. That shit was crazy. I cried why to they Marley didn't have me. to do that, bro? I cried to. He Marley didn't have to die me, like bro. that, bro. I think. All right, another one. Uh, it to me it was. Marley and Me was the big sad one. What what is the, what do I else I have on the list? I had um but nice. Pursuit of, I, Pursuit of oh, Happiness. Okay, that was a good. I like that one. I cried to that too. Pursuit of Happiness. I cried. Was I, I cried to that one too. That Pursuit was a good of Happiness. One. Pretty sad. I thought you. I thought you were gonna say Avatar. Don't you better not say Avatar. Which Avatar? The new one that just came out. Hell Everybody no. cried to that. I, I don't. Jay I, actually cried. to I that. I haven't seen it, but I, I, you better not say. You it. need to watch that. One of the best movies in the last couple of years. For real? That yeah, good? Really good. I want to see it. I just haven't. Um, another movie I'm gonna go with. I'm gonna go. Ever seen The Green Mile? What? With the, 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 the angel type shit? Well, yeah. Yeah, like, I know what you're talking about. I know what you're talking that's about. A, yo, he died at the end. All right, that was really oh sad. Oh, my God. He got electrocuted. So uh-huh. Yeah, I was going to say... Um, I was going to say that because I know I watched those parts, but I didn't watch the whole uh, movie. No, nah, you have to watch the whole movie. I think it's Tom Hanks, right? Yeah. Mm, Tom Good, Hanks. great movie, bro. Damn. So sad at the end when he dies. So <sighs> sad at the end when he dies. What else? He I said, have? don't put that over my head, boss. Don't you put... know I'm scared of the dark. I was like, oh, oh my God. He's no, so scared of the dark. Don't do that. Don't do Oh, bro. Just, hold on, where's my list at? I, I think I put. Ah, uh, you might judge me for this one. Oh, let's say it, man. You might judge me for this one. This one might be judgmental worthy. Hold on, what is it? Uh, fuck. Where, where the fuck is it? The Notebook. I'm judging you. That's judging. Yeah, yeah judging but you know why? I'm I'm I, I, I'm not surprised you said it though. You not? Yeah. I'm just clear. And if you watch the podcast, it's clear why. Clearly, why. You're not <laughs> Did you ever watch it? You watched. I watched it, no, but yeah, I knew you. Were gonna, I knew you were gonna say a love movie, but I refuse to say a love movie. Why? Uh, they don't make me sad, bro. <laughs> I get you. I get you. The you no, know, you know what? I'm lying. The vow was sad. I heard just that was because really sad. he had the like at the end. It was just like, damn, he got her back, bro. You feel me? It was, <laughs> I heard that the was the vow really sad. was sad. The vow was sad. But it, it was a happy ending, at least. Though. Okay, okay. But like, that's why I'm not, it's not really a sad movie because it was a happy mo- it was a happy ending. Yeah. The vow was sad. Okay. What so up? the first movie that really ever made me cry for real, what is a movie called Hachi, a dog's yeah. tale. And the only reason I really cried because the main like the dogs in Akita. Yeah, I know. So I felt the connection with Bishop. I was like, <laughs> damn, bro. Were like, you, you was a kid? I was like. Yeah, I definitely was in. I was I was in Lockwood still, so I had to be like, like thirteen, fourteen. Damn. Yeah, I was like, damn. I don't think it was Bishop. Yeah, I think it was Mac at the time. No, nah, I was definitely. So like, Bishop. is that the one where the dog was like saving? It was like a little cartoon. It was a cartoon, right? No. So it's the movie. So this dude finds a puppy. Yeah. On, in a train station, right? Mm-hmm. Whatever. And he's like, he like takes care of the puppy. You feel me? And the puppy 
the dog like grows up, but he doesn't like he wait he he goes to the train station and waits for the the owner to get off the train yeah. every day after work and then goes home with him. Yeah. Then the owner dies, but the dog never stops going to the train station. So he runs away from home and waits for him at the train station every day. For the owner? For the owner, yeah. Wow. And every day he does that and like the family can't keep him. Like he always breaks out the house and he sits at the train station and waits. So like you know, like maybe what I'll say, like maybe ten years later, the 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 wife mm-hmm. goes back to like the town where like they grew where they lived at. Yeah, and Hachi was still waiting for the for the owner at the train station. Oh, that's and like sad. the locals like feed him and do all like take care of him, like make sure he's yeah. good. He sleeps under a train and he waits for comes back to the same spot every day, just waiting for. But he doesn't know he died. He, I mean, yeah, he doesn't know he's dead. Wow, he that's he's so waiting sad. For him. You know, it's so sad, yo. Okay, so since since we're going to like like when we was kids, a movie that I was so scared, sad was um the the Rugrats movie. When they went to Paris, uh, I've never seen. You know that. why? All right, the reason why it was so sad, right? You you know Rugrats though, right? Yeah. So the whole thing about the movie was that Chucky never never had a mom, and he uh, didn't know why he didn't have a mom. But yeah. the whole time, so this the movie. I, st- I told this before. The movie starts off. They're at. Uh, it was at a party. Yeah. And then there was like all the babies are like talking. They're like pretending the Godfather and shit like uh-huh. that. And then they're like, "Oh, the cake is coming." And then everybody, there's like everybody. All the mothers bring your child to the dance floor. There's like a slow song playing. Uh-huh. It's like, uh, it's like they're playing a song, but Chucky doesn't have a mom. Uh-huh. So every one of his friends is dancing with a mom. And then they go to Paris because uh some some shit with the, the one of the main characters' fathers had a job there in um either Paris or Japan, one of those places. Yeah. So on the plane, everybody is sitting next to their mom and going to sleep and like cuddling with their mom, and uh-huh. he's sitting there by himself. Oh, and then and then you hear the music playing, and then on the there's like clouds come over and then you see like his mom and shit like that. Like a like the image of his mom like holding him uh-huh. because his mom died in a car accident. Yeah. And like Chucky asked, he's like, why don't I have a mom? Why everybody got money but me? He said, your mom's wa- watching you in heaven right now. It's okay. She's still oh, here with you. Bro, I was like four, bro. I was so I was crying. I was like, is my mom dead right now? I was like, <laughs> sure, that's crazy. Yo, I was so sad, so, bro. Since we're talking about a, a childhood movie again. Yeah. I'm gonna say Bambi. When, when the Bambi, mom, really? When the mom dies. Oh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. That's yeah, so yeah. sad. When the mom died, that was pretty that's sad. So that was pretty sad, sad. bro. That was when the sad. mom dies in, in Bambi. Yeah, that was that was bad. That was bad. That was so sad, yo. Bless you, Bishop. Another one. We should be talking about cartoons. The the opening scene of Up. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah Only yeah, the yeah, opening yeah. scene, though, yeah. not the whole movie. That was bad. He wants your water or your juice. No, he can't have my juice, buddy. <laughs> Back up. The opening scene of Up is so sad for no reason, bro. I know. <laughs> like, I know. There's no reason for that movie to be so sad. I was bro. like, bro, that why? scene. It was like, like, why did you do this to me? That and um, uh, Inside Out, when oh, the, when the motherfucker God. died, bro. He yeah, when said, Bing take, Bong, it, to, take, take it, it to the, the moon, moon Riley. Me. Oh, I was like, oh, don't do that, bro. <laughs> Nigga, not to the or moon, I, bro. Yo, I am legend. I can never watch the movie after the dog dies. Really? You, you stopped I it? I can't. Like ah. even to this day, after the dog dies, I cut the movie off. Oh. I can't finish the movie no more, yo. Oh my god! When Sam dies, I think the dog, that's the yeah, end of the yeah, dog. When yeah, Sam yeah. dies, I cut the movie off. Oh. I can't watch it no more. See, for me, when did you ever watch Pearl Harbor the movie? Yes. Oh, that's a good one. Oh that's a good one. my god! That's a good one. When the nigga died and yeah. the nigga took care of the. <laughs> or have you? Oh, have you seen? Um, that was a crazy shit though. Like a crazy plot. Uh huh. The, they thought they thought the nigga died, so like he started dating his girlfriend, yeah, and, and then, then he came back, and then, and then that the the original nigga died. The fuck, traitor. <laughs> then the original <laughs> nigga died, and fucking, uh, what's it called? And then he had he was Shout having out. a baby. He was having he was having a baby with the girl. Uh-huh. So the nigga that thought they died in the beginning became the girl's husband yep. and the kid's father. There, and the nigga name was Danny. Uh huh. What the fuck. Or what you call it, Armageddon? Yes. Oh my God, Armageddon! I was gonna say Armageddon. That oh, shit was crazy. When the, when the dad, when the dad said, "Nah, go take care of my daughter for me, nigga." I want to say it's the same actor, right? Is that Ben Affleck or I'm no? I'm tripping. Nah, Ben Affleck was in that. Ben Affleck was in Pearl Harbor. I think that's Ben Affleck in Armageddon too. Isn't no, no, it? it was the other dude that was in Armageddon. No, was Ben Affleck wasn't? Was he in Armageddon? I'm pretty sure it's Ben Affleck. Check real quick. I, I thought the other dude from Pearl Harbor was in Armageddon. I forgot what the nigga name was. He was in that new Kevin Hart movie. But yo, when he was like, when he, no, no, it was Ben Affleck. It was Ben Affleck. Armageddon. I don't know how to spell that. Armageddon. It was Ben <laughs> Affleck. He was like, because the, the, uh, the nigga drew the straw 
He was like, because somebody had to stay behind to blow the detonator. Uh-huh. He's like, nah, you got to go marry my daughter for me. Ah, oh, that shit killed yep, me, my Affleck. nigga. Mm-hmm. That shit killed me. Oh, my God. My mom would still cry to that shit, bro. Who else is in Pearl Harbor? I forget the other actor. I can't remember. His name's like Matt something. He was just Matt in Matt Damon? Was it not Matt? Matt Damon. Not Matt Damon. It's a, it's a long name. I forgot what it's called. Just look up Pearl Harbor movie. It should pop up. That was such a sad movie, bro. Yo, comment y'all sad movies in the comments if you get to this part right now. Shout out to y'all, bro. That shit. You know I gotta say Lion King. Yeah, Lion King when uh, Mufasa died. Yeah, yeah, you know that was type sad. It. That was type sad, bro. Oh my! I don't God. know this dude. I'm not gonna lie. I don't. Is Josh, Josh Harnett. Yeah, Josh Harnett. He not, he not in a lot of movies, bro. He's only. That was, that was, that was, he just had a banger movie. He just <laughs> had a banger movie and just uh-huh. like he was in the. There's a new Kevin Hart movie on Netflix. Yeah, where is that, he is that the funny one? Yeah, it's the one where he's like he's playing himself. Okay. Oh. That the series. Yeah. No, it's not a series. It's an actual oh, movie. It's well? like he's playing himself and he's like, he's trying to become like an action star instead of a com- uh, comedy guy. Oh, for real? I didn't see that one. Yeah, it's, it's pretty good. Is it's it a comedy? Of, yeah, it's pretty funny. Okay. Can I like you do that it. other one, that, the other show he had, like the series? Yeah, the, the, the that, that was serious though. Yeah, I was like, what the? I couldn't take him serious. I mean, I, I, it was pretty good though. He didn't do a bad job. He didn't do a bad I job. I just couldn't take him serious. Yeah, like, I, I, I still liked it though. I seen that he has the potential to do that. Yo, another movie. And I watched this in school, and I was like, I had to, I had to hit one of these. Like, I'm not even crying for real. <laughs> my, my sister's keeper. Have you ever seen that movie? Let me, let me look it up, dude. Let dude, me look it up. That, my sister's keeper. Yo, that movie is so sad. My sister's for keeper. for no reason, bro. My, I seen it before. Like, I seen it when I was looking up movies, so I can remember the name. Oh, this shit with um uh, Cameron Diaz. Yeah. Is that does she have cancer? Yep. Oh nah, not the cancer was, ones. Bro. Oh, that movie's so sad. I know oh. a lot of. Lists. Oh, what about the one with the the nigga from uh, from uh Home Alone? Home Alone. Macaulay McCulkin? Yeah, when he was in the coffin, he was like he. My he, girl. Yeah. Oh my god, my girl. He's like, he his can't. glasses. You can't see without his glasses. <laughs> oh my god. That movie. Oh, this movie. Oh, how he died by bees. Yeah, yeah. options bees for real. Yeah, was he like allergic to bees? <laughs> yeah, or and they they, and they jumped him. <laughs> that shit was. Cr- oh wow, that shit was crazy. It's like he needs his glasses. Nigga. Oh, and they made a part. Glasses. They made it. They made. They made another movie to that. It was my girl too. His should have never did that. They be doing too much. Like why? And like just like Fast and Furious, bro. Them niggas be doing too much. Like what the fuck is going on? Why? Why are there so many evil brothers? Are you serious? <laughs> they need to cut the franchise. Like that shit should have ended yo, at seven. When I seen they went in space, I said, I'm done, bro. I'm done. The, yo, I, I refuse to watch this. When this nigga, movie. when this nigga, the when bro, when I seen this nigga, Vin Diesel, I, and the, it, this all should have end. I always say Furious Seven should have been the last one. That's when they did the split. Uh-huh. This nigga, Vin Diesel, picked up a car. Literally, like, picked up a car so the nigga Paul Walker could go under. How the fuck? Nobody could pick up a Like, he deadlifted no, a car. I, I I should have been done when Vin Diesel stopped. And then and the, the shit whole, dropped. I was like, I'm like, nah, I'm, like, I'm done, bro. bro. I'm nah, done, bro. I'm Fast like, and Furious lost it, bro. Nah, lost after it. that. And then The Rock caught a missile. No, when the, the how the Rock survived that, that the first scene was already insane enough. He fell off like a... 30 story v- building, building bro. landed on a car and just had broken bones. Nah, bro. And then broke out of his cast like he's fucking Superman. Nah, I know, right? Like he like it was nothing. He just took like two Advils and he was good. <laughs> Time to fight. <laughs> that that that's not they see niggas niggas try to be like Marvel way too much. They yeah. try to put you make superheroes at this point, bro. Like, exactly. These niggas <laughs> what happened to the racing? That's what I'm saying. What happened? When, when, when did y'all go away from that? Yeah, like when did this like fast fi- fast five? Okay, that was good. They bought they robbing banks. That's uh-huh. good. That should be. They should just be doing that. They shouldn't be beating up niggas and flying through the air like super jumping and shit. When I seen Vin Diesel with the, the trailer, when he like snapped the, the what you call it together mm-hmm. to make the helicopters crash, yeah, the physics behind that is not even possible. I'm like, Dude. who's 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 doing this? <laughs> Probably James Gunn or something. <laughs> James Gunn. <laughs> Wait, is Kevin that, Feige? <laughs> that's not the nigga that's doing DC right now, is it? Yeah. Oh, he, yeah, was, he was doing Guardians of the Galaxy, and now he's in, now he's doing Suicide Squad. Mm. Cause, ooh, gun? Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. Cause I know you seen the new uh Flash trailer coming out? Nah, I haven't, that watched, shit I haven't even watched the show, so it's not about the show. It's about like you you ever, you ever watched still, it? It's still the same actor though, right? It, uh, yeah. Miller. Yeah. <laughs> it won't get I don't know what type of chokehold they have on he got on them. I don't know, bro. But it's like you ever watch the DC animated movies like Flashpoint? Bro, this shit is heat, bro. 
Like, I'm gonna watch the movie. You got. I to. watch all the movies. I Literally, it's show. when because you know the Flash, like his his mom died and shit. Mm-hmm. So he's trying to go back in time to stop that. But when he does that, he fucks up everything. Uh huh. And like freaking like in the in the DC animated one, he goes back in time and like everything's flipped. Like there's a war between Atlantis and the and Wonder Woman. So it's Aquaman and Wonder Woman's having a war, basically land versus sea, yeah. And like an all out battle that's destroying the world and freaking. Like, uh, everybody is, like, switched. So, like, um, Batman isn't Batman. It's Batman's father. Uh Because in that time period, Batman, like, the Batman that we know was killed with his mother. And the father lived. the father lived? Yeah. And, like, Superman was, like, was, like, kept secret. So, this nigga's, like, he was, like, a laboratory thing. So, like, when he comes out, he's, like, mad skinny. Who else? Fucking, um. This is is all in the cartoon. This is all in the cartoon. But in the movie... It's it's the same concept though, uh-huh. like Batman's father is in it, but Superman in this dimension, Superman's a girl, so like she comes out, like they they break her out of the shackles, she start fucking niggas up, and then um you know General Zod the shit like mm-hmm. that, he's he came back because like in this world there's no meta humans, like there's nobody with superpowers, so he's trying to take over the world, uh-huh. so he's trying to fl- uh change everything back and shit. I'm like yo, this shit's gonna be hard. So where's the cartoon on that? What, like what, what HBO I Max. I'm gonna watch it, bro. Now nah, all the DC anime movies. In my opinion, is a movie or a show? It's a movie. Okay, they're up there with the with the Marvel movies. Like it's really like if you watch them, like if you look up on um on Google, like the order of them, that uh-huh. shit's fine. Like if you watch them all in order, bro, they have so much potential. DC. They just have bad directors, yeah, bro. bro. But it's it's kind. Of, I can get it because they're they're animated is so like like clean and there's a lot of blood and shit in it. It's hard uh-huh. to make that into real life. But it's it's not even that. It's just bad plot, bro. Like Yeah, they be trying to change the plot up too yeah, much. It's, just it's stick with this. Plot, I'll look. Bro. All you have to do is you literally use the use the plot from the comics or the car, or the animated series and then make it cinematic. Exactly. These Y'all things. try to go off and like if it, and there's no setup. Like Justice League just came out of nowhere. Exactly. Like like, what, what, like where was the build up to the Justice League? Exactly, and in, in the freaking animated, the Justice League, Justice League comes out because freaking um, Dark Dark Side comes out with those little parademon shits, and they had to like fight each other. I was saying even like yeah, like, even how like Marvel built build it up like mm-hmm, with Iron Man. Yeah, like and now look where they're at, bro. Built build the. I mean, they're trash now, but <laughs> <laughs> you didn't like uh, the Ant Man movie. I didn't see it. Oh, you didn't watch it? Okay, I seen like. What's the last one you watched? Black Panther. Nope, I didn't watch. You Black didn't watch Panther. that one either. No. Damn, what the fuck? I'm gonna watch it because it's on. It's on. Uh, I was waiting for it to come on Disney Plus. Oh, it's okay, on Disney okay. Plus now, but I'm all right. Watch it. I'm doing the same thing with Ant Man. I think the last thing I watched was Doctor Strange. Mm. No, Thor: Love and Thunder. I hated it though. I heard that shit was mid. Very mid. Uh, I didn't want. I look. It looked mid. I didn't want to watch that Very shit. Mid, but you know. Dang, bro. But I got. I got something I Wait, want. Because we said you was gonna talk about this, right? Because you tried to call me oh, out. Oh my fucking god! So, another movie, right? That I said was sad. We're gonna we gotta make this quick though. We can't have we can't be talking about this with, with all these people <laughs> fucking watching us. It was broke back mountain, which is a lovely movie. <laughs> which is a lovely. If you know, you know. It's a lovely movie. It's a good movie. <laughs> it's a pretty good movie. It's just super gay. <laughs> yeah, super kind of mookie. We don't got a problem with that. Don't no, worry. no problem at all. I said it's a great movie. I watched the whole movie. Just let you know that I watched the part when they was they was getting it on. I, it kind of startled me a little bit. <laughs> he like, seen that part and then kept watching it. No, no, I, I, I watched like a good ten minutes. <laughs> so uh, at least I went to the movie, know what I was getting myself into. <laughs> you watched that part and was like, "Hold on, what am I watching? Let's keep let's, let's see where keep this going." going. <laughs> <laughs> like I'm intrigued and shit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hold on, where is where's this going? <laughs> this motherfucker, bro. <laughs> at least I knew. I was like, I knew what I was getting myself into before I watched it. It's a great movie though. <laughs> Type know. shit, bro. But. Uh, what else we gonna talk about today, bro? Um, all right, I got I got a question to ask you before. So, actually, actually, no, nah, I, I want to talk about something, bro. You know, I've been I've been looking on TikTok. This nigga loves water, bro. He really wants the bottle. He just wants the bottle. Yeah, that's why I'm hiding my bottle. <laughs> so I've been looking on. I've been seeing a lot of shit. You know, with the UFOs and things like that. Mm-hmm. You know, them shits is adapting, bro. The UFOs are adapting? Yeah, like, they're like USO, USOs. Why? What's that? Like, un- unidentified submerged objects. Like, them submerged niggas going through the water, bro. Like, look, let me show you this video, bro. This shit's I, fucking... I told you, what you if, you... if you think we the only living things in this universe, bro, I just hope I die before, like, they come true. Bro, I, I, I honestly, I don't know. I think I want to see that shit, bro. I don't want to see it because we're gonna die immediately after. <laughs> no, what if what if they're like freaking? Bro, they're friendly. Yeah, they're cool. 
Hold on, I'm, I'm trying to find this video where this shit goes in the water, Why don't bro. You just sit down, like say seated though. I don't know what you want. Look at this shit, bro. Want. want to see Bishop? Yeah. Nigga, you all in the camera. Back the fuck up. <laughs> this nigga all in the camera shit. You see that shit, bro? Phenomenal CGI. Is that you think that shit's real, bro? I think it's real. Bro, because like niggas be saying that shit fake, but how the fuck you fake that shit? Like I know you can make CGI look a lot like different and shit like that, but like honestly, that shit's too. That shit look too real, my nigga. I think it's real. Let me see. Oh, this video man long. Oh, nah. <laughs> Nah, I ain't real, bro. You don't think so? Nah, bro, real. how is this not real? Look at the quality, my nigga. That's not real. You don't think so? But like, If it was real, that's crazy. But, like, I know, you know where they were people that see them a lot? A lot of military, like the people uh, that be on the Navy and shit. Yeah. Like, I remember there was, um, there was talking about one Navy guy was saying that he seen something on the radar that was, like, 6,000 feet in the air. Uh-huh. And then in a second, it went to sea level. Like, within a second, it just dropped. And then hovered above the water and then just went in. Like, I it mean, was off the coast of, like, California if, if and shit. It's the smartest thing. They know, uh, yo, they don't know they don't know shit about the ocean. Let's go hide in here. Yo, just imagine these niggas is, like, surrounding us. Like, they're in space and in the ocean. What? I heard, they was talking. What, my sister yeah, alien? She's an alien. <laughs> <laughs> imagine. She's they can, they can hide amongst they're us. Among, I said they're among us, bro. Mm, that's type they're shit. They're among us, bro. I heard... I, I heard, could be an alien. Hmm? I could be an alien. You never know. I could be one. Yeah, I believe that. You could believe that. I, I could believe, believe that. that too. I could believe I'd be an alien. Nobody too, told me. Nah, you're too nice. Too, too nice. Too nice to be. Or maybe you're you're that nice. You try to mask the fact that you're an alien. You don't want people to think. There's that you're always alien. nice aliens. Like remember, like ET and fucking. You said ET. <laughs> <laughs> There's some nice aliens. You gotta go point my forehead next. <laughs> yeah, bro. I'm trying to guide you on the right direction. Have you ever seen um? Damn, what's that movie called? What? Uh, it's a stupid movie, bro. <laughs> Yo, what's the? Oh, the watch with like. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> when it was like a, uh, neighborhood watch program uh-huh. against aliens. Yeah. <laughs> See, imagine that's us. And then you. <laughs> and we're trying to fight off against aliens. But like, remember the one alien that was cool? He, he was yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, he was like in like the little sex cult, uh-huh. or whatever. He was like, he was like, he was my first blowjob, bro. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm below you for life. <laughs> Yo. Bishop, move. You're going to freaking knock the, the thing off. <laughs> but. What the fuck? This nigga just. This want- episode, bro. Like, you know, you want to get some shine? He's going to get some shine. <laughs> fuck out of here. <laughs> you can see him in the camera, Libby? Like a lot? Like his whole face in there? Come on, dog. Say hi to the world, Bishop. But I'm just saying. Like, with aliens and shit like that, bro. Especially a lot of shit been going down with aliens. I heard there's like this. I heard actually there's this one supposed alien that's living among us. Carl. Nah, his name's like Thor. His name's actually like Thor. Valiant Thor. Oh. And he like works for Congress and he's like the nigga that like that helped us like reach our new technology levels. Obama's an alien. Shh. Yo, this yo, this makes sense, right? Yeah. I believe, right? So there's no way, right, that like people that like invented like an engine or like a boat or a plane, right? Yeah. There's no way they just that smart and thought about, okay, if I put this math together, put this equation here, I'm going to make this plane fly here. No. Somebody above <laughs> above here, whether it's God, aliens, or somebody was like, I, I think it's God was like, all right, hold on. We're going to make him the chosen one. <laughs> put the knowledge in his head and he's going to... He's the chosen one that's going to be like, I right, he invented the airplane. Mm-hmm. I don't think nobody was that smart just to be like, Okay, if I do this and do this, do this. Okay, hold on. Oh, yeah, Not even no. like Einstein. No, bro. God was like Einstein's the chosen one. What if Einstein put all the, the knowledge in his head? Or Einstein's an alien that was like, I right, yeah, I'm gonna put. I'm the chosen. I one. I be thinking that too because I'm like. I'm not that stupid. That's what I'm, bro. Like nobody. I don't think nobody is that smart to be like, you know, like, hold on. Especially off of nothing. That's what I'm saying. Like, like who would thought? Now, like now, maybe because like I, it's stuff. We to, seen it. It's stuff to based off of. Okay, yeah. I could build off of this. I could build off this. Based off of nothing, you were just like, 
okay, hold let, on. Let, let's see if we can fly. Yeah, or oh, hold on. Like, let me, let me invent electricity. Exactly. How'd you do that, bro? What made you think of that? That's what I'm saying. And then what made you think of it? Then, like... Influence. And then uh, put it together to actually, like, invent it. No. God chose you <laughs> and put the knowledge in your head and was like, all right, you're going to be the person to invent electricity. Or you're the alien. Or you're the alien that was like, Like, yeah. imagine there's, like, all of, like... The important people that we know in history are where aliens. No, like I'll, all believe, the I'll believe it because, like, why? What made you? What made you think of peanut butter, bro? That's what I'm saying. What <laughs> like, made you think of like traffic lights? That's what I'm, like, there's but, too much shit but, to think but about. Who put that together though? Like, exactly. Like, who put that technology together? Like, I right, I put this wire here and put this wire around this wire and put this block here that this is gonna make this light go up and down. For a year straight without me without me touching it. That's what I'm saying. Like niggas that make light bulbs, like how they know like each element what That's each what element I'm does. That's what I'm saying, bro. Like, I'm, but so, unless I'm, unless we're that dumb, maybe we're that dumb. No, bro, I'm not, not that, that stupid, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, we just wasn't the chosen Like if, ones, like, if you like if you would have went back in time, with all the knowledge you have now, you still couldn't figure that out, bro. That is true. We're just not the, we just wasn't the chosen ones, bro. That's why the pyramid. That's why nobody can repli- like replicate the pyramids no more. Those are built by something by aliens. They bro. was built by the chosen ones, bro. Oh, or they got aliens, superpowers or aliens, whatever you want to believe in. But I'm gonna just say the chosen ones, bro. The that chosen shit. ones was God was like, you're gonna be the one to do this, and you're gonna be the you. I'm gonna choose you. We're just not the chosen ones, bro. I think I'm the chosen one. I mean, hopefully, lead us, lead us to the promised land. And type shit, we on our way. <laughs> yeah, lead us to the promised land. <laughs> we on bro. our way. Type shit. <laughs> but guess what? You wasn't the chosen one to invent Tesla the, or something like that. I wasn't the chosen one to build the light bulb. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I wasn't that much chosen. Nah, you wasn't that chosen. <laughs> and I was like, let me be an influencer and entertainer. Let me nothing be a content import- creator. Nothing, nothing important. <laughs> nothing that can save lives. Yeah, nothing type important. Type shit, bro. bro. But like, you, you know what I also was thinking about since you brought some shit up like that. You know how I feel like. In today's society, there is a new slavery that's not called slavery. It's called jail. No, nah, no, no. Like, look, <laughs> but it's like, all right, think about it like this, right? We it's, abo- called, it's called the NBA. No, nah, no, nah, look, look, look. <laughs> nah, nah, for real though, for real though. Think about it. Think about this, right? So imagine, right, back in the days, they took away slavery. Like, okay, we're abolishing slavery. No African-American, whatever, just do this, that, and the third. Mm-hmm. But what if they just, like, they don't get rid of it, but they just remake it to look, make it seem normal to us? As in, like, we have to do, like, they force us when we're kids. Not force us, but they drill in our minds in a kid, like, oh, you have to go to school. You have to go to college. You have to get a nine-to-five job. You have to pay taxes. Drill us, drilling all that knowledge in our in our head. And if we go outside that, we looked at it, like, shun, like, yo, why the fuck are you doing that shit? Like, say, like, oh, if you drop out of high school, you're never going to be shit in life. Or if you drop out of college, you're never going to be shit in life. But it's like, we've been taught. Ever since we like brought up that like this is the path that we gotta take. What if that's like a like a form the, of slavery? The, slave, the, the slavery, the slavery path. But then, but white kids do have, have that path too, though. Exactly because it's like you can't have one minority do it because it's gonna look too obvious. But everybody follows that path. Exactly, though. so it makes it even better because now all because think about it. If you go to college, you know how many people are in debt. Yeah. So people go in debt. People still gotta pay their taxes. If you work these nine to five jobs, oh look, now we got people working for us. I mean, yeah, that was the point. The, the whole point of slavery was, it was money, bro. So if, like, if if there's a way to make money still without putting us in chains, it's like, all right, let's, let's you know. I know, but it's like I feel like if we like people say that we're free, freedom. We're not free. We're not because I feel like if there was like freedom a utopia a society is where we can literally do whatever we want, mm-hmm. not as in like do bad shit, but like if we could do like we we only do bad shit because like. Niggas had to, cause niggas was like, oh niggas, niggas, there's no other way to get shit done. Like niggas figure out other shit to do and they end up doing something bad. Yeah, but it's like I feel like they just keep us in like you, you watch Loki, right? Mm-hmm. They keep it keep you in. You know, in Loki, they keep you in a timeline. If you get out that timeline, police come and shit. Yeah, that's what we that's what we are right now. We're just stuck in a in like a process, which it might not be slavery, but it might be like some new shit, as in like. We could have been at like a utopian society where like we don't have to worry about money and we could just live free for the rest of our lives. But like they just restructured what slavery is and now everybody's like built into it. Now they make it even more money off of this shit. Makes sense. I don't know. It's just scary because like even like I, I know a lot of kids now they're trying to 
it's like they're trying to do different things, especially like on TikTok. Like a lot of kids are starting to make their own businesses and shit like that when they're younger. And that's a good thing. But it's like, I feel like... Everybody can't be rich. I know. Everybody can't. That's what I'm saying. But I feel like, like especially now with YouTube and shit like that, with with these niggas that'd be like 12 making millions of dollars, they, they think a lot of kids, especially like in the new generation, they think that that is where... This, that's the standard. If you don't reach that standard, you're not gonna be anything. That's life. like, like I said, like it's, that's that's just, just really luck. Like you just, you know, it's, that's not the standard. That's just the easy way out. But now. I feel like that's the, like, like when we was growing up, we looked up to the athletes. We wanted to be like, that. yeah, we looked. up I to, feel like a lot of kids don't want to look up, look up the athletes like they used to. I mean, because now is is it was a, it's an easier route. Mm. Okay, I don't have to. I don't have to be work six, out every. Eight. I don't have to. Yeah, I don't, I, don't have to, I don't have to work out every day. I don't have to grind mm-hmm. to get to this point because it's I not. Mean, you easy. do got to. It's not. I mean, yeah, but it's not. It's not physically. Yeah, like it's not easy being an athlete. You have to you be good. You yeah. know, you have to actually put in work, grind, get up every day, work out. Feel me? And, and you know, everybody don't want to be physical, like you said. There's always a way I could blow up without actually putting in physical work. I could just. Mm-hmm. Be on my computer, or that's like, good though. I mean, I mean, obviously, that not obviously being physical, like that's not for everybody. But, yeah, you yeah. know, it's, it's different. It's different. Okay, it's possible now. Yeah. Or I could play video games and be famous now and be rich. Or I could just make dancing videos and and learn how to edit and mm-hmm. be rich. You know, it's it's, it's different I'm, avenues now, and that, now it's popular. Mm-hmm. So it's like okay, before the blueprint, it was there, but it was like, you know, you didn't see too many people blowing up. You know, it was yeah. like all right. Every is like what, maybe one out of what a hundred. Like okay, like okay, yeah. he's blowing up, he's blowing up, he's blowing up. Now it's like with all the access we have and like platforms, it's like everybody a new person blows up every day. That's true. So it's like, damn, who this person? Oh, who this person? Who this person? You know. So now mm-hmm. it's more, it's more achievable now. Mm-hmm. So now okay, kids is like okay, I don't have to go to the NBA. I could be an influencer, and just look how easy it looks. So does that decrease the value of it though? It will eventually. Eventually, eventually, right? it's gonna be something else that people be like, okay, that's easier. Mm. Eventually, like I said, at the time, everybody, like you said, when we was younger, everybody, nobody wanted to be like, I want to be a YouTuber because it was a lot harder now. Yeah, nobody, nobody ever said it was that. back then. It was a lot harder to get like a million views. That's what I'm saying. So like nobody said that when we was in middle school. Yeah, I want to yeah. be an influencer. I bet you if we go to a cl- uh, a lot of people, it was all the, I want to be an NBA, I want to be in the NFL, I want to be an astronaut, I want to be this. Yeah. I bet you if you go to a middle school now and be like, yeah, what you want to be when you grow up? As a lot of YouTubers, influencer, content creators. I, I kind of, I enjoy, I like that though, because it makes them, I feel like once they, if they look at that as what they want to be, that helps them, like you said, it's a lot easier than just being physical but at it. it's achievable now. It's that's achievable why. now. And that I mean, actually makes people grind for that shit. Mm-hmm. But like I said, eventually it's going to be something that's like, all right. I, I, we don't we don't even know what it is right now, but it's something that is like we look at like, damn, that's kind of cool, but it's, that's mad work. Yeah, and then I get you. that's gonna be achievable. Mm-hmm. And then you feel me? There's gonna be a whole cycle of like, okay, or it might just come full circle, you know? Type shit. People might want just want everybody might wish want to be a cop one day. Oh, I want to be a police officer again. Mm-hmm. And then that's gonna be oh, okay. Everybody's a police officer. Okay, I want to be a, an, an astronaut. I wonder how it's gonna be when we older with our kids. Sure, that's good though. You want to be people chase your dreams, people. Like like what we do right now with all this podcast is a lot of work, it, but as the work that you put in is what you're gonna get out of it. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm, Food for go. thought type shit. Food for thought message. <laughs> but I got a I got a question for you, my brother. Nice. So would you rather get sent to the worst prison in the world for ten years, or get sent to the same prison for ten years, but you have a step by step escape plan that you have to execute correctly? But if you don't, but say you get caught. You get an extra thirty years in that prison. Which one would you do? And I have the blueprint. You have the blueprint. You just literally have to do it step by step. But like, some shit might go wrong. Freaking, some shit might happen. Like a guard might like walk out the the bathroom at the wrong time. But it's not like exactly done. But it's like it shows you like, oh, you gotta go through this duct at this time. You know what time these niggas gonna eat? Shit like that. And then once you leave, once you get out, then it's like. Like nobody's ever gonna come find you again. Like you're just home free. I played no way out, and I beat it first try. You did do it. You think you could do it? Think I could do it. I think I'm gonna be too scared, bro. I ain't gonna lie. Like wow. I'm gonna be too like the, the the heart gonna be pumping, bro. No, I'm gonna do it. I can do it. I can pull it off. You think you can pull it off? I think I can do it. But what if you get like what if some shit goes wrong? Like, like I gotta that? kill somebody now. You gotta kill some nigga now. Yep. Damn. 
Whoever gets in my way gotta die. Cause you said once I leave that jail, I am free. Free. Home free. Whoever gotta die, gotta die. Damn. If he wow. dies, he dies. But you could just stay wait the ten years. Alright. Oh, oh, move the, the mic up. Alright. <laughs> <laughs> Nah, I ain't waiting that ten years. You ain't waiting that ten years. You out? I could do it. I could do it. How long? Okay, so say you get it. Say you get in with that plan. How long is it gonna take you? I'll, 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 I'll ask you. I would go over that at least a year. At least a year. Yeah, get that. Get it down packed. I would have my my one year in jail would be dedicated. Be dedicated to me perfecting this. Plan. Perfecting this plan. Uh huh. I get you. I get you. I think I'll do that too. Just I don't know. I'm just gonna be so like that when the day know, comes. You're gonna be so nervous. Yeah. When the day comes, like take, I gotta take the, a massive. Dump before I go. Yeah. Like, all right, let's go. Get, I gotta be like all the nervous out me. Douche. Empty stomach. Let's go. Might as well go big or go home, right? I'm, I'm going. Literally, for it. I'm going home, my nigga. I'm going. I'm home. going home, my out, nigga. Out, out of here, I'm going bro. home. Type shit. Type shit. All right. Oh, I got another question for you, right? So, oh, so you're trapped in a building with two doors. Then there's only two ways to get out, right? So the first door. Is that you have to survive a uh, you have to survive a maze of small tunnels, and as you get closer to the exit, the tunnels get smaller and smaller. But there's a possibility you might get stuck. But it's like it's not like you're gonna get stuck. Like there's one that's impossible to get through. You can get through them, but you gotta have to like really work hard to get through like the last one. Okay. But there's a possibility you might get stuck. If I get stuck, I'm dead. Yeah, you you might if you want to if you give up, but you can like you gotta like really like push through like push through all the claustrophobia shit like that. Or you have to survive. The second door is that you have to survive a maze while being hunted by a random killer from a from a move from a movie. Do I get to pick the movie? Nah, it's a random. It's like spinning a wheel, and it's like so, so you start at the beginning of the of the maze, and then the killer is gonna be somewhere in the maze looking for you, and like throughout the maze, there's gonna be like weapons and shit. So if I fuck around, be John Wick. I'm gonna just be dead. Uh, no serial killers. I mean, so like. So like you know like the Freddies the Jasons. Oh hell! I thought you meant like real serial killer. Like I'm like if I, if I see Ted Bundy. I'll fuck no, no, I'm talking up. about like I'm talking about Mike Myers. <laughs> oh hell no! no I'll do the I'll do the claustrophobia. You gonna do the claustrophobia? I'm gonna die one? either way. So I mean you I'm gonna die. I'm I'm gonna die. Yo, if I see Jason, what, what I'm gonna do, bro? Go I stupid, said, my nigga. All right. You ever you watch the movies? I did watch the movies. You see, you he's, ever, he's killable. You see, anybody want to be one him? Nigga, you gonna be the first? You huh? not you not you not te- uh. TTP, bro. Who that? Train. I, I think. I think you know. I forgot what the word. Is. I forgot what the acronym is. <laughs> I said TTP. You not tactical, my nigga. You don't be. You gotta play the scenario in your head, like yo. I'm, I'm gonna be the first person to one v one Jason and kill him. You might have. You might have an axe. If I, yo, I'm not gonna lie. If I see a hatchet, I'm type nice with a hatchet. It's Jason, bro. Nigga, what the fuck you gonna do? He can survive a hatchet to the chest. Yeah, he did it for, for thirteen movies. <laughs> nigga, what? I'm killing that nigga. Nah, I'm gonna do the maze, bro. You gonna do the maze? You gonna what if you get stuck in that bitch? I got. I just gotta. I, I just gotta lose. I gotta go on a diet before. Nah, it's like you just look at it. But like you can like it's not impossible if you get through. But that's just like like I'm talking like this, my nigga. I could do it. No, nah, that's a terrible way I to got, die, I got, bro. I got a big booty. I don't know. I got some. I got. I got you got dump, some yams. I got yeah. I got a dump truck back there. I don't know. My got, butt, my butt might get stuck. Damn, <laughs> nigga said my butt might get stuck. They got the yams, bro. Yo, that was an al. Shit, I'd least, rather go least, out swinging, least no, bro. At least nobody cat called me. Hey yo, real niggas know. <laughs> but I'm just saying. I ain't never get cat called. That's all I know. But I'm just I'm just saying, bro. I'd rather go out swinging, my nigga. This nigga's a fiend, bro. <laughs> this nigga in the like... water bottle, bro. Is he thirsty or something? No, he just wants the bottle, bro. We'll give you, Bishop, we'll give you the bottle afterwards. Let me keep the bottle right here so he can just stay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just keep it like in front of him. Yeah. <laughs> Libby, it's not, it's not, he's not blocking his face, right? Sit down, bro. S- sit down. All right, all right. Take a seat, buddy. So you're gonna take the first door? Yeah. All right, that's that's cool. That's cool. That's cool. I'm not gonna survive the kill to your killers. Sit down. I'd, ra- I'd rather sit. die like that though. Sit. Sit, please. Can you please sit? Can you please sit down? Sit down. Sit down and I'll give it to you. That nigga's not. Sit sitting. down. Testing my gangster, bro. You make me look bad over here, bro. Yeah, you make me look like a bad owner. <laughs> make me look bad over here, bro. Go chill. You act like act like you listen, bro. That nigga, no, he in a new environment. He ain't listen to you no more, bro. Nah, he just getting old and stubborn. <laughs> All right, you want me to tell you a quick story, my brother? Yes. 
he has to sit down first. So he can. So he's like. So I'm telling him the story. Sit down. Sit. I said, sit down. Sit down. Yo, you make me look real bad out here. Sit right. down. Bishop, sit. Bishop, sit down. Bad boy, you sit see down. His face <laughs> you can't see Corey's face. Oh, Bishop, sit down, please. <laughs> Yo, move your big ass tail, nigga. Bishop, sit, bro. Bishop, sit down. Bishop, I know you hear me. Sit down. That nigga don't sit down. He's looking at me like this. <laughs> Bishop, sit, bro. This is bad showing. Sit your ass down. <laughs> All right. <laughs> 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 oh, we about to knock the camera over. <laughs> you make me look bad out here, bro. Nigga, this is his show now. He got the he nah, see the water bottle. He don't give a fuck about nothing else. Nigga, hide that shit. That's why I hid my water bottle. Now sit down, bro. You're not getting the water bottle now. Sit down. How's it look, Liv? Bishop, sit now. Sit down. Down. Sit down. <laughs> he don't fuck with you, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> he don't fuck with you, nigga. Bishop, sit down. Bishop sit. Oh, hi. Right. He's already sitting down. No. He's oh, already right. sitting down. Type shit. All right. Let me, let me, I got a, I got a good story to tell you, my brother. Let me hear it. All right. So this, this one, I, I have a scary story to tell you, right? So, so this is a story. This nigga's on the, this nigga on the court. Make sure you don't pull this shit out. This is going to cut the thing off. All right, so I got a scary story for you from my brother. So I got this from on YouTube from a guy named Mr. Ballin. Uh-huh. So this was basically about an abandoned warehouse outside of Cleveland, o- Cleveland, Ohio. And it was abandoned in 1970. It was like a, I think it was like a um, wax factory, some shit like that, something mm-hmm. like that. And it, it was abandoned in 1970. And there was a boy named Kurt that when he was a kid, he was always fond of it. He always wanted to explore and shit like that because, you know, it looks so cool and shit like that. So during the 90s, he was walking back home from a friend's house. And he was like, he walked past it. So he's like, you know what? Fuck it. Let me go in there. I'm older now. I can go explore. He's like, he's like a teenager at the time. So he goes into the shit, right? He's walking throughout the factory. It's a huge factory, big ass factory. There's like graffiti and shit like that. Like, and there's like um little um shits on the floor. It's like it like garbage and shit like that everywhere. But he's niggas having a blast. So he's about to leave. And then he starts hearing jazz music being played. He don't know where it's coming from. So he's following the jazz music and he find, he goes to a spot in the warehouse where he'd never been before. And there's like a blue curtain. So he goes up by the curtain and he's listening and he still hears the jazz music. And like he opens the curtain and there's like a staircase. And the staircase goes down to like the basement. So as he goes down to the basement, he finds the little cassette player and it's pressed play. And that's where the, the jazz music was coming by coming by coming from. And then Hold on. There was a so then he's so he looks around the room and there's like hundreds of papers that there's like hundreds of papers like plastered on the wall. It says she got to run. Every every paper says she got to run on it. Right. And then in one side of the room, he sees a chair like he sees a chair on the side of the room is just facing another direction. And then on the other corner of the room, he finds a cassette like he's he finds a stack of VHS tapes. And each VHS tape has a name on it of a woman. So, like, he sees all this shit everywhere. He's like, yo, what the fuck is this? And then I think he starts hearing some shit, like hearing somebody walking by or something like that. And then he dips. He runs back upstairs. He runs out of there. He gets out of there. And then he was talking to his friends. And I think he, like, stumbled across, like, a little place where, like, a serial killer, like, lives at. Uh Uh-huh. Because there was, like, I guess it was, like, a serial killer that used to kill women. Because every... VHS tape, like you know the old VHS tape where you see video had a woman's name on it. Yeah. So I get I don't know if he like he stumbled across like a like there was evidence of him killing those women. Oh, I almost forgot. I almost forgot. He seen a a sculpture of an animal. He didn't know what an animal what kind of animal was. It was in the far corner and that shit was like beaten up. Like it's like somebody was like stabbing it. It was like burnt up. It looked like somebody was hitting with a hammer. And that's what was right next to the VHS tapes that was filled with like the woman's names. And he thinks like he stumbled across like the lair of like some serial killer at the time. You know how scared I would be, bro. Nigga, imagine, bro. I like the like that's how the and think about it. During the whole time, he didn't hear the jazz music at all. Uh huh. Until he was about to leave, so that means that nigga was still in there. Yeah. That he pressed it and like either was hiding and was about to grab him until he ran out of there. But yo, 
Nigga, I would have been. I would, I would, yo, if I would have made it out of there, bro, I might not have left my house for like a. Nah, a I don't month, think so bro. either. Because he was low key like this close from dying. I'm not even going to lie. I'm saying. Like, any more snooping. Like, he might have. That if nigga. He was a little more nosy. <laughs> he would have, yeah, he would have been out of here. Especially, that nigga might have been like the back corner type shit, like somewhere in the he cut. He definitely was watching him the yeah, whole time. Yeah, he's definitely. If, if he was a girl, he might have been done up. Well, no, if he was a girl, been, yeah, it Because all the VHS tapes had girls in it. Just imagine you walk in the room everywhere it says she got to run or she got to... What's the, what's the words? It's like she got to... What is it called? I wrote it down here somewhere. Yeah, she got to run all over the walls. Just like written in like red markers, bro. Like hundreds of papers just put on the wall. There's a yeah. psycho down there, bro. I've been so scared, bro. Nigga, what? Oh, my God. After See, that's why I be... I remember Jordan then was telling me. He was like, yo, we got to go to like an abandoned like hospital no. in the woods. I'm no. like, in my head, I like adventuring. No. But I like adventuring to the woods. I don't like adventuring to that scary shit, bro. Because mm -hmm. a, a ghost... I'm cool. Okay, ghost I'm cool with. That shit, that's a killer, my nigga. Yeah. You just... You, if you call the cops right now, you might have solved so many murders. That's yeah, nuts, bro. Anything abandoned, I don't want to go in there. Nah, bro. Nope. I, I think I went. Did I ever go into abandoned? Nah, Ish and Jordan. There was an abandoned crib like down the street. They they went in there before. I I wasn't with them that day, but I think I feel like I did went to abandoned place one time. Them niggas, you know what they used to do? Him, Jordan, him, Jordan and Ish. They used to go smoke. There was a there was a Chuck E. Cheese down the street, and like mm -hmm. they closed down because they're building a Wawa's. So it was like abandoned, and they used to go in the Chuck E. Cheese, like climb in there and smoke. And I think they. I think they said they seen some shit. Either it was like a homeless person or like a like a like a ghost or some shit like that in there. I'm like, yo, what the you seen a ghost of a kid or some shit, my nigga? What the what? fuck happened at a Chuck E. Cheese, bro? That shit's just abandoned. You got it. I don't want to go nowhere near it. You that shit scared the fuck out of me, bro. You won. <laughs> that shit scared the fuck out of me, bro. But I got a, I got another question for you, right? So which world would you rather live in? A world where we're at war with living trees. So I'm talking about the trees can fight us. They walk and all that shit like that. They got strategy. Living trees. Every tree in the world. We're in war with, with every tree in the world. Some big trees out here. That's what man. I'm saying. Or we're at war with one Godzilla. One Godzilla. You gonna say one Godzilla? You think we could kill Godzilla? Because think about it. You can't drop a nuke on him. He, that, that shit gets him yeah, energized. Yeah, he is a nuke. That nigga's basically a nuke, bro. Think about it. You know how many trees there are in the world? I know. There's and, like a now, and now that they have a mind and they're smart. And they're trying to kill us? Yeah, bro. We're not going to survive that. Have a better chance of taking out the one Godzilla. But think bro. about it. You just, just, just set fire. Yeah, you, all the trees? You know, keep some of them captive. Like, you know, we could, we don't got to kill them all, but they're, you got to move are, up a little bit. There are big ass trees, bro. I know. Like the shit's in the Amazon. Like, there are like... And they're old trees too. 100, 100. <laughs> Those are like the elders. Yo, bro, we'll get smoked, bro. If trees, if trees decided to like just have war on us, bro, we'll get smoked, bro. Cause you gotta think about these little trees now, so yeah. these bushes, and they have roots where they connect to everything. Yeah, so they're, they're, they're 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 connected in ways that. Oh, I know, didn't even think about that. You feel me? Now they now they're talking to it. They're talking to one another. Without us even knowing, Damn. yeah, bro. Nah, it's over, bro. So you no. taking? So you gonna take Godzilla? How the fuck you gonna kill? You know Godzilla? why? Because I'm not gonna touch him. But like, imagine you pull up to Newark. Those are those. No, no. Like he nice step life. on you. Had a nice life. <laughs> oh, that's that's just you. Just gonna give up? Yeah. Fuck it. Whatever. I, okay, I, I have I have to have a Godzilla tracker somewhere. Okay, he's getting close to me. Like, let me move. <laughs> <laughs> Godzilla tracker. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like an app. <laughs> yeah. Where, where is he at, bro? <laughs> they, they put like a tracker on that nigga. Oh, like, a, yeah. They, nah, they probably don't got to do that because there's no way we're gonna survive that shit. No way. But he likes water though. That's true. And we don't live by. What about the Hudson? But like, he's not going in the Hudson. You never know. There might be some good shit in there. Oh, I doubt. There's a hump. There's a humpback in the, in the Hudson somewhere. There's a humpback whale in the Hudson somewhere. You're fucking lying. There used to be. I don't know if it's still there. My <laughs> my uh, my uncle put a put his big uh, pet shark in the Hudson. What kind of shark? It was like a Nerf shark. He probably died. <laughs> you, th you think so? Yes. What if that nigga evolved? Fresh water from all the toxic. Like nuclear waste, imagine he evolves. Evolved, but it's fresh water though. Like they, yeah, they, they probably. But there are sh some sharks that go into fresh waters. It's like a good species of two. If he didn't have one of those two species, that shark died like immediately. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I don't know, but oh, I got a, I got another question we could do. I got another question we could do. So can these? So I have a list of fictional characters. Uh -huh. We're gonna decide if if can these fictional characters take over the world. 
right? If they ever if they were ever real. So the first one is Darth Vader. You think Darth Vader could take over oh, the world? Oh man. Nah, he couldn't even take over his own world. You don't think so? Nah. With the Armada too? Wait, wait, talking about He has the force and the Armada. And it's just regular humans. And just regular humans. But it's yeah. like we could yeah, he could take over. He could take over. Dang. Yeah, I just think because there's nobody, is nobody that could that fuck can, with the force. Yeah, like unless we have somebody on our side. Yeah, nah, fuck that. Yeah, I think Darth Vader got it. How about Optimus Prime? Mm. If he were ever like, he if, had, he, if he was like the Autobots, I think we could. I, I think we're cool. And like, I don't think he gonna take over the world. If it's just, it's just one Optimus Prime, nah, like he has like his Autobots with him trying to. Oh kill yeah, him. nah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Take I think we could kill him. We can we can hit him with some missiles and shit like that. A lot of people gonna die. Nah, bro. Cause we're not gonna know what to trust now. That's fine. We can we can find a way. We'll just go back to horse and buggies. Yeah, nah. We're gonna do it. We're gonna die. I'm not letting this nigga. I'm not gonna let this Chevy truck kill me. Yeah, until he turns into a, a 18 wheeler. <laughs> Let's take an 18 wheel somehow. Nah, I think yeah. we're cool. Nah, we're not cool. You don't bro. think so? Nah, we're not. All right, cool. all right, all right. How about how about Aquaman? <laughs> Bless you, Bishop. I think we're cool with Aquaman. All right, let me let me. All right, I don't think so. Because he got the water. Yeah. We don't know what the fuck is down you're there. You're right. You're, you're right. That nigga could bring up the Kraken, my nigga. Remember? But, but think about it. He could bring up the Kraken, but like we're on land though. So like. The Kraken could still get like kill like, but like imagine he cuts off all our water. Right. <laughs> nigga, oh, we're dead. Right. What if he just like says, isolates us and like, yeah, no more water. Yeah. We're just right. going to be drinking. Or out what the- if he just drowns all of us? Like, That's what I'm saying. Yeah, nigga, no, what? We don't got it, bro. We don't got it. Bro. Aquaman might fuck us yeah, up. Yeah, we don't got it, bro. We don't Yo. got it. Yo. Yeah, fuck. Nah, I don't know. We don't got it, bro. All right, how about Bowser? For Mario? Yeah. <laughs> He's fooled, bro. We good, bro. We good? Yeah, He's we fooled? good. He's gonna kill that big ass turtle? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We easy. That's easy work, bro. All right, that's chilling. I'm chilling. Even with the Koopa Troopers? Yeah, yeah, that's easy. We're, 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 yeah. That's light. That's, that's free. Light. That's free. That's free. All right, and the last one is Aang. Oh no! You don't think he could? You don't think <laughs> we could kill Aang? Uh, the Airbender? Yeah. Oh no! You don't think we could stop Aang in the Avatar state? No. Damn, he no. gonna kill us? Yeah, it's over, bro. <laughs> nah, we, we can't die from a thirteen-year-old. Yeah, he, that's not a regular thirteen-year-old, bro. That nigga got powers. <laughs> yeah, bro. He, he, he ain't regular thirteen-year-old. Bro. Oh fuck, bro. That's like losing the Ben Ten. We're gonna lose the Ben Ten, bro. Damn, we're gonna lose the Ben Ten. Yeah, yeah. We're... Ben Ten Thousand. Yeah, we're getting fried by Ben Ten. Fuck. God damn, bro. We're getting fried by Ben. That's 10. That's scary, bro. Like, imagine that shit in the world, bro. Nah, imagine, would... imagine you could have been a. Uh, I'm not ben... gonna lie. It's hella. It's hella, It's hella people in this world. Somebody's a superhero, bro. That's what I've been saying this the whole <laughs> one, life, bro. At least one of us. At least somebody's. A, somebody's a superhero. Somebody bro. may be immortal. Somebody may be a super. Somebody maybe a superhero got some superpowers. One of the monks in the that be in the fucking um the 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 Yemen mountains. I bet, yeah, if it's, if there was a superhero, he's far far away. I I would I would bet all my money that he's Asian. Why? <laughs> Why Asian? Why can't he be from Africa? That's the motherland. Nah, I think he's Asian. I think he's African. I think he's African. So we're just going against each other. Yeah, I'm going against your race. You're going against mine. Yeah. <laughs> okay, that's cool. You guys know Corey's Asian, right? We've been talking about this on no, the pod I'm for not, years. No, I'm, I'm not. He's I'm Asian. Not. He's some, <laughs> somewhat Asian. He, he behaves. I'm gonna take a DNA test for real. And it, yeah, you want to make fun of my chips? This nigga pulled up with some seaweed chips. Yeah, let me get. Let me open one now. Now that you pulled, I was oh. looking at it. I kind of wanted one. Look, look at look at greedy over there. This nigga, about, oh, here we go. Here he comes. <laughs> look at greedy over there. Yeah, give him a couple chips so he can sit down. Sponsored by this nigga Corey Eaton. Trader Joe's. <laughs> <laughs> you gonna give him some? He don't like he, he don't like the teriyaki ones. He like the regular ones. That's disgusting. Let's see if he eats it. Yo, do an ASMR real quick. This is your chance. Oh, this is this is good ASMR because it's crunchy. Oh, that's disgusting. You don't like them either? Oh, Just straight. Y'all too Asian now to like these. I'm black, you're too. A- you're mixed Asian, though. <laughs> ASMR. This, uh, this actually sounds great. <laughs> you don't got it, but you went over there for ASMR. This sounds crazy. Sounds delicious though. I think it is. Bishop, you want one? Better not waste it. 
He's like, ew. <laughs> you showing off today. <laughs> Yo, you, better not, you better not ask for when we get in the house. <laughs> you showing off today. Yo, fuck with that shit. All right, my brother. I got a question for you, right? Before Bishop comes back. <laughs> Bishop. Oh, sorry. I didn't mean to call you. <laughs> it's like, what you want, bro? <laughs> I can't believe you just eating. Sh- You're supposed to eat that with something. I don't think you are. You are. It's roasted teriyaki seaweed. Why would they roast it if I have to eat it with something? Because look, think of this. And, what it, you, and it's organic. This is what you got to do. You get like a piece of salmon. Salmon, you get a piece of fish. And you, you put the, the, the chip on like your mouth like this. And then you put the, get the thing. And you just eat it together. I'm pretty sure people eat it that way, but I'm pretty sure I'm eating it correctly. You're eating it correctly. That's just disgusting. Hey, bud. 130 calories. 130? Nope, that's 30. Just for that whole bag? Mm-hmm. What the fuck? That's pretty good. Um, You still be tracking your calories? You still be going to the gym and shit? Yeah, when I feel like it. You slacking, my nigga. Yeah, I am. The fuck? I just starve myself now. I do that too. I'd be, I'd be like fasting. Yeah. Fast is good. I only fast because I like, I don't go to the gym as often. Like you eat one meal a day type shit? Sometimes. Oh. Sometimes I'd be feeling real fat. I say, fuck this diet. <laughs> and then sometimes I'd be like, yeah, no, it depends on the day. It depends on the day. I'd be like, uh, I'd be feeling like that too. Some days I'd be, I'd be, I'd be feeling like, damn, I feel mad big. Like, I, like nah, next day I'm not going to eat nothing. Somebody at my job, hold on, let me finish my CV chip. That's gross. So nasty. I'm so like appalled right now. It's the roasted teriyaki flavor though. It's not even the regular one. Oh. So I posted the um the um millennial shit. Yeah. And somebody at my job was like, How come in that picture you look skinny? But in real life you're you're fat. I said, That picture was taken yesterday. What the fuck are you <laughs> talking about? If I look skinny in the picture, that's how I look regularly. Nah, what the fuck? I'm gonna kill myself. <laughs> And I only say I'm fat because I eat everything at the job. Oh, okay, 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 okay. <laughs> Not because I actually look fat. Oh, okay, okay. Just because okay. I eat everything at the I'm job. I'm about to say, what type of shit? But, all right, I got a question for you, brother. So, so you know creatures of folklore and things like that. Mm-hmm. So, what creature of folklore do you think has a chance to be real? Bigfoot. You think so? I think so. I think, I think Bigfoot could possibly be real. I think mermaids. I think mermaids. I think mermaids, mermaids could possibly be real. I don't think like whatever maybe, noise that was. <laughs> maybe, maybe, maybe dragons back in the days. Nah, I don't think dragons maybe. Were real. Think I think if dragons were real, we would have found a skeleton by now. I heard like I heard but like the also, wings. No, but also, ah, that's lying. I'm lying because if dragons were real, were, was real, in order for them to fly, their bones would have to be hollow, and then if it was hollow, they wouldn't be able to fossilize mm-hmm. so maybe not so that's what i'm saying but like back on the mermaids thing right th- let me let me tell you my my thing in my mind what i think how it could be real or could have been once real so i remember i was li- i was on tiktok the other day and they said the question right every animal they, or they said something right they was like they said every animal in the world has like a different species of that same animal mm-hmm. so you know dogs have different species uh what you looking for? Garbage. Oh, I thought I, I thought I thought it was one next to me. Are you straight? There's one over here. I'll just put it right here. So I did that. <laughs> <laughs> so every every living thing has its own species. Like different species of plants, different species of like like marsupials and things like that. Everything got its own species, like dogs, like apes, reptiles, shit like that. But except humans, right? There's only one human. One like human, homo sapien, whatever you want to call it, one humanoid. Yeah. But think of but Back in like, like uh, hundreds, thousands of years ago, there was I think twenty one different types of humans, like like as in like Homo sapiens, like the Neanderthals. There was twenty one, yeah. but we are the only ones that survived. But it's like, how are we the only ones that survived? And just to think that the chosen ones, we could be. I don't know, but it's like, is that not weird? Because like what? Because like what if like my thinking is like what if some people? Because you know how we adapt. Mm-hmm. What if? Some group adapted to the water, and some group adapted to living in the woods. Cause like I know, and that's know, a bigfoot and a mermaid. Yeah, it could be a bigfoot and a mermaid. There's also things called like skinwalkers that live in ca- that um people say are like mimic humans and things like that. Uh-huh. And what if there's things that live in like the cave systems, like they just specifically adapted to living underground. Yeah, just like there's 
things that adapted to living from like living in the water because there was also a group of humans that were like really really tiny like like dwarfs almost that uh-huh. that the Europeans used to hunt yeah because they didn't know what the fuck they were they were uh-huh. like they there was in Africa so like those a were of, those a bunch of hisbillas Nah, something like that. Like it was great. Like they was really they was hunting them. Like they was uh-huh. treating them like animals, but they were humans. Yeah. So it's like there's a possibility that that we like over our evolution, some of us branched off into different parts, different like ecosystems, and like changed over time just based on where we live. So like some people might have adapted to the water and just what if they built like a secret like a whole well, imagine there's a whole civilization like deep into the ocean mm-hmm. that we can't even get to because only they could get there because they have adapted to that level yeah. of shit. Because I know back in the like thousands of years, people think said there was like a flood and shit like that. Like uh, many floods that happened throughout the, our, our history and shit like that. So imagine one of them just happened to like, you know, let's just adapt to water. Cause there's also people in Asia that adapted like a, like a tribe in Asia that adapted to the water. Like they took out their eardrums. So like, they can be they can swim underwater for hold their breath for like 20 minutes and they can go like down deep like they live on top of like the water and they freaking fish and shit like that at low depths because they had the so they they took out their eardrums because you know when your ears pop they took them shits out so like the next generation they can do some shit like that too so like they don't really they really can't hear too well but mm-hmm. it's like if they could adapt to shit like that in a matter of like generations there could be something that adapted to the water or something that adapted to the woods and shit like that that live in the caves and people people you have to base a folklore on something people from the islands to like people that go on boats say they seen mermaids yeah and they say they're evil even people that go into the woods say they seen like skinwalkers rakes when whatever the fuck is down in in them shits but it's like a lot of those people definitely seen something with all these people like especially in the islands and shit like that, they, a lot of the islanders believe in that shit. Yeah, there's no way they're making that shit up, bro. I don't think they are. There's no way, especially if it's been passed down for generations. Of course, you might see some shit, mm-hmm. especially when we're in this day and age where like CGI is a thing, and like you might have a videotape of it, but like people it won't think it's fake. real. It could be fake, but that like, that could mean anything in this world it could be yeah. fake. But like if you you anything could be real as long as you the truth comes out whenever you experience it. Mm-hmm. So like. Until you experience seeing some shit like that or you're in their shoes, you can't say it's real and you can't say it's not real. Especially if he said like they say they seen it, that's what they seen. It could possibly be real. That's why even like the mermaids, like there there shit there could be some different species of us out there in the world, but we're just it's just hidden from us because we can't know we can't go against the Darwin theory yeah. and shit like that. So there could be there could be mermaids down there. There could be skinwalkers living in caves in the freaking forest of the national parks. That's why they call it national parks to protect those type of people from getting going there. Yeah. So you never know. That's what that's what I think. I feel like the folklore that could be real or the is the folklore where they talk about where the the creatures look like humans. I feel like that could be real in life because it's similar to us. That was a great setup. How you went into this whole thing? Because you asked me if I believed in. So that was a great. I'll, I, I gotta give you that. I, I, I've been I doing this. I gotta give my right hand that one. Oh wait, wait, hold on. I got you. Been doing this for almost a year, buddy. Nah, that was a great setup. I thought you. I thought you just asked me what I believe in. That was a great setup. Cause that's what you knew you had in your head the whole time. <laughs> that would have fucked you. But I would have fucked you up. I would have said the Kraken or some shit like nah, that. I was already about to go through that, bro. <laughs> I would have said the chup- Chupacabra. <laughs> you don't <laughs> know what else is gonna. You'd have been like, damn. <laughs> <laughs> nah, but I mean, like. Like a lot of people, of course, stories change over time. Uh huh. But it had to be based on something. Absolutely. So it might not be to an extent where it's a giant freaking. Not close. <laughs> it might not be to the extent where it's like a giant ape in the forest, but it could be a humanoid that has a lot of fur because it has to adapt to its environment. Yeah. And it could be a humanoid that adapted to the water and I guess grew a tail. Like, didn't we come from the water? I don't if think we came from the water. Whales used to walk on land. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And snakes used to have feet. Exactly. So it's like, what if what if humans grew tails and just swim? I mean, I, I know. I, I I believe it. I believe I'm not, it I'm not disagreeing with you. I, yeah, be, nah, I nah, believe nah, it. Nah, nah, nah. I'm I talking about it. the other people that think I'm crazy. I, that's what I believe in, people. I ain't no conspiracy theorist, though. I just like... Yes, yes. 
I'm not. I'm really not. Yes, he, yes, he is. Am I really? Yes, he is. No, I'm not. Because those niggas is like they go, they go to the depths of hell to get their point across. I won't. I just like. I just think it's cool. I always like cryptid things. I believe it. I believe it. I believe in. I believe in mermaids. But you just. I like how you broke it down though into like the species of humans. There's. There could be like different. Just like you know how in Avatar Leprechauns. there was different. A, a, oh well, you didn't watch the new one, but like. There's different like there's different avatars that based on their environment. Uh huh. So it's like there could be definitely could, leprechauns out here somewhere. Th- yo, that's what I'm saying. There could be like little little like gremlins or little um <clears throat> trolls and shit like that. You never know. Especially in a lot of countries, there's a lot of like in the uh, South America and shit like that. A couple they'd be they'd be talking about like little trolls and shit like that. Uh huh. So, but like you never like and then, like I was talking about with the the shit in Africa, there were there were basically little humans. But people used to hunt them like bow and arrow. Yeah. Because they, they look at them as animals because they don't look like us. Uh-huh. But they're humanoids, but they was just little. Yeah. Like that was actually a thing. It was like in the nineteen like early nineteen hundreds. And then they brought them to extinction. Evil's you you evil, bro. That's some evil shit, bro. But but oh, do you wanna you wanna get your story across? You wanna tell your story? Are we to, are we getting to the end? Yeah. Okay, so yeah, we did have. You, did you like this setup too? I did, I did. You see how I asked about the folklore? Uh-huh. And now you about to? Yeah, you, you doing your thing, bro. You doing your thing. Type shit. Yo, no regulars. Uh, jerseys coming out. So let me stop. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, so we do urban legends, right? You do one every episode, don't you? I haven't done urban legends in a minute because okay, been so you 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 stayed in the U.S. Yeah, I'm going international. Urban legend Japan now. We going we going to Jap- Japan. Gotcha. The, the urban legend of Teke Teke, yo. So it's multiple stories, right? Of how. She originated, but I'm gonna go to the movie version. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. <laughs> so, it's the 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 story is this this young lady, mm-hmm. and she was in the army, right? Or no, she was like a soldier, like a like a little nurse soldier, soldier, right? Yeah. And she got abused by the male soldiers, right? Yeah. And they bullied her, or whatever, and they pushed her on a train, on the train tracks, mm-hmm. and then a train ran her over, Damn, and split her body in half. So she was only like she like cause she was split from the waist down, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and they and they threw over they did it over an overpass. Yeah, that's the most important part. It was over an overpass, so okay. they threw her over an overpass, and she landed on the train tracks, and the train ran over, and and like she was like just torso. Yeah. So now the legend is right. So she they thought she died, but she came back, and killed everybody, killed all the people that that uh that. That like bullied her basically and killed yeah, her. Yeah, yeah, And she she did it by slicing them in half. Ooh. So just the way she just the way they did it. But she's a walking entity of just she moves on her she walks on her hands, and like she and the, the, the name Teke Teke comes from how she walks on the ground. It goes. Oh, like 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 her nails. It's her nails. Oh, but it sounds like Teke Teke. So now the urban legend is if you walk around if you walk on the overpass at night. And no, she hates the color red. There uh-huh. we go. That's another. That's another point. She hates the color red because it reminds her of the blood from the from from her dying from her shit. dying yeah, and shit. Yeah, so yeah. it reminds her of, of blood. So now the urban legend: if you walk on the overpass at night, mm-hmm. when, and you have anything with the article of red in it, she comes for you. So she, you hear her on the overpass, you hear tick 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 tick. Oh, and that's like like the motherfucker crawling. Uh huh. You hear her, but if you make eye contact with her, she kills you. Oh. If, if, if she kills you on the overpass, but let's say you get away from her, you f- you're home free. No, if you get if you make if you make, if you don't make eye contact with her, you're good. But you hear the ticket 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 ticket, and, and you just hear and like you turn around, and usually when you turn around, goes, you see the the, the you see a a a, a, a torso and and, a, and arms. You're like, what the fuck is that? And, then and she starts you. coming from you. But if you escape her, if you get off the overpass and you escape her, she lets you escape, but she kills you within th- within three days. So you're gonna die. You're gonna die within three days. Yes, you're not safe. You're gonna Ew. die within three days. But it's only if you have anything red on, and it's only if you have anything red on if you walk on the overpass alone. If you walk with somebody, you're, you're safe. And if you if you don't have red, you're safe. And if you don't make eye contact with her, you're safe. So as long as you do those three things, but people usually turn around to see because yeah, it's like a know, normal what reaction. Hell, what the hell is that? And you make eye contact with her, and they, and she like, she kills you the same way she died. She slices you from the from the waist up, and now you're just a torso. Oh, and, that's kind of in the movie, right? Yeah, in the movie, the girl. So, in the movie, the girl got away, right? Uh huh. And no, how it started was the girl 
was mad at her friend, mm-hmm. and the friend went on the overpass by herself and got killed. Yeah, and the girl went to like went to like memorial to like the like the the memorialize it. You yeah, know, yeah, like yeah. oh, this is my friend, and she heard it tick 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 tick, and she closed her eyes, and then feel me, she went away. Teke Teke went away, so she thought she was safe, That's and tough. then Teke Teke made an illusion of her friend's voice. Oh, like like a like a mimicked it. Yeah, mimicked her friend's voice. So she heard her friend's voice and turned around. And when she turned around, she seen Teke Teke. Oh, now she only got fucking like three days. So yeah, so now she uh, so she got away from Teke Teke though. She got off the overpass and somebody saved her, right? Uh huh. But now she only got three days before Teke Teke murder her now because Teke Teke is coming from her. So now she's cut, like wherever she's at, she don't gotta be on the overpass. No, wherever she's at, Teki Teki's coming from you. And oh. Usually at night, but Teki Teki's coming from you. So they did this whole thing where they found out the origin of her and found out why she's doing it, right? Uh huh. And they got away from her again. Yeah. But like they survived the three days. They survived the three days. Well, they they made it to day three. Okay. And okay. they survived it. They put the stone back up to make her be at peace again. But when they seen her again, the girl started bleeding. Oh, and she seen and she red. Seen red, and the car was red, oh, which didn't make it. Nah. It was driving in the red car, which didn't make it make it any better. Oh my god! So now the girl in the movie, the girl lives in isolation because Teke Teke, keeps, but she's waiting for her. She only comes when something's red around. Uh-huh. So she's waiting for her to de- touch something red so she can come kill her. Wow. So she and she's like, I remember. You, I think you, cause I'm remembering now. I remember you told me she's like in a mental hospital now, right? Yeah, yeah. And like she has like. And then at the end of the movie, somebody gave her a chocolate box that was like red, and it was red, and she like fuck out. But when at the, and it cut outside, Teke Teke was outside. As and soon as they gave her the box, but like she ran out, like like the dude just the dude took the box away fast enough. That, so that's crazy. So, so that's just like forever following her until yeah, she touches until, until she until, until, she, until <sighs> she dies. But the but the overpass is if you as long as you don't wear nothing red on the overpass, like it could be like like I said, the like a your nail polish, a, a red dot on your nail polish, and you're done. Or you're bleeding, you're cut, you have a little dot that's scary, on nosebleed, bro. you're done. But if you walk across the court the overpass with your eye closed, you're good. But once uh, you make that eye contact, you're done. You're done up. Damn, bro. See, you know what's crazy, bro. Like in like like in Asian culture in general, we believe in a lot of crazy shit. Mm-hmm. Like especially that's probably why I'm like this. Like a lot of superstitious you get it stuff. From your mama, huh? Nah, like I'm not gonna lie. My mom used to tell me hella stories blame, about shits and trees, my nigga. Blaming your mom, right? No, nah, I love I love I love how the way I am, bro. Like like think about like like this, right? I heard recently, like a month ago, like a supposed like filipino like folklore creature came to life and it was like tor- terrorizing like a town or some shit like that in japan no in, uh, in the philippines oh it's ca- i forgot what it's called but it's basically it's basically like a a demon that's like just like yours like it it could detach its body from the torso from its legs and it like has it could grow wings and it flies and like mm-hmm. it hunts like kids and like pregnant women and it like feeds on those people and supposedly Two girls from a neighborhood said that they seen it on a window, yeah, or on a, on somebody's roof, uh-huh. and they got so scared, screamed, called the cops, and everything. And the cops was like, "What are you talking about?" Like, and they the, there was actually like a whole article, like a, the bless cops you, had the oh, bless you, Bishop, bless, bless you, you, bud. The, it's mad dusty in here. <laughs> the cops had to like file like a whole report for it and shit like that, and like they had like even the neighbors said they didn't see nothing, but it's like. What the fuck did these girls see that made it think that was like that? Like make it think it was that. Yeah. And then there's another folklore in Serbia. I don't know if you ever heard of the the Serbian dancing lady, bro. No. Bro. So so there's supposedly a woman in Serbia that dances. Like does a dance and shit like that. Uh-huh. And if you interrupt her while she's dancing, she'll stop, turn around, and she's gonna she try to kill you. For real? Yeah, and there's like videos on TikTok of this but it could be fake at the same yeah. time. It could be fake. But there's videos on TikTok of this woman, like she's doing like a little dance and shit like that. And then he's like he's like, Hey, she turns around and just starts chasing after motherfuckers with like a knife and shit. <laughs> like that should be scary, but I don't like I like I like I believe in a lot of them shits, bro. Like like the fucking um like yo, like that, like that, that whole story you told me reminded me of Smile, bro. Yes, I know. Oh, wait, Smile the movie. That's yeah, Smile? I didn't see it. I thought you were talking about the Smiling Man. What's the Smiling Man? I don't really know the story. Like, I'm not gonna say it good. I'm, I'm gonna say it really ass if I say it. Yeah, yeah, I guess. So, you. like, I'll, I'll say it for another episode. When I got the story mm-hmm. really down back. Yeah, but the Smiling Man is a good, is a, like a like a urban legend. Mm. Did, did you know? You know what the the whole thing about Smile was though? Mm-mm. It was basically like so fucking. 
so so basically if you see some <clears throat> say you have it right there's something chasing after you that's gonna make you kill yourself but none of us see it mm-hmm. and it's basically like if you look at me you'll see me with that weird ass smile yeah and that smile is just gonna make you kill yourself uh-huh. and then say you kill yourself and like i see you kill yourself now that's just transferred to me so wait you're gonna smile yeah, I'm going to smile, but I'm not going to know what the fuck you're talking about. Uh-huh. So, like, say... So, say say you kill yourself in front of me. Yeah. Then that... Whatever you had mm-hmm. is transferred to me. Now I'm going to start seeing everybody smile. And until, that smile is going to make me kill myself. Yeah, it's just going to make you kill yourself. And it just keeps transferring to people whoever sees you kill yourself. So, does it make me kill myself in front of people so it can transfer? Mm-hmm. Mm. So, like at, the, like, at the end of the movie, it was fucking nuts, bro. Shit was fucking... Do you, do you want to know what happened at the end? Yeah. So, basically... She 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 thought that she fought back, yeah, and that she she killed it, done deal, and then she was leaving like she had to she had to isolate herself to 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 stop it, mm-hmm. so nobody sees it. So let me make sure you push up, get over here, bro. <laughs> so he had to stop. So he basic so she basically isolated herself in an old cabin, and <coughs> and he um, so she he kill she killed it right, and she's leaving, but the the entity tricked her thinking that she killed it and he came back uh-huh. and as it came back it was killing her her boyfriend walked into the crib because he didn't know where she was because yeah. she told him not to not to uh like come see me or whatever because mm-hmm. he they, nobody understands like what the fuck going on they just look at you like you're a crazy person yeah so he walks into the room and as he walks into the room she has a lighter in her hand and gasoline she's pouring gasoline on herself and she goes like this mm-hmm. and kills herself and now that shit transfers to him. To him. Yeah. And I'm like, yo, that shit pissed me off, bro. Because literally, he was home free. Yeah. He wasn't even the boyfriend. He was like the ex-boyfriend, but he was just trying to be nice. Uh-huh. So I'm See? like, nah, bro. You can't be nice as well. I told you that last episode when I was on here. Type when shit. Can't nice, be nice. Nice. All, the nice guy always lose. You feel me? Nice, I, you the be, nice guy always gets possessed. You want to be rich? You're an asshole. Type shit, type shit. But you got anything you want to say, my brother? Thank you for pulling up to another episode. episode of- I mean, it wasn't even my episode. It was his episode. He was a little shy today, you know, but I think we did a little a good- shy. That nigga don't fuck with you. That nigga <laughs> said, fuck you, nigga. This is my nah, shit. Yeah, this is, that's, that's, that's the way. I was interrupting his episode. All uh, right, so, you know, we're going to get this PETA sponsorship, sponsored by PETA. That's what it's called? <laughs> that's uh, so gross. No, it's not this. I'm talking about uh, PETA, the, the Animal Foundation. Oh. Yeah, we're sponsored by PETA. PETA sponsorship right here. You know, we have a wonderful dog, even though he wasn't listening throughout the show. He, he'd be listening. I wish he would have stayed like this the whole show. That would have been dope. But, Do you, you see know. him living? That's fine. You guys you guys know the gist of it. Yeah. Thank y'all for tuning in to another episode of No Ruggers Podcast, episode number 81. What do you want to tell them, whoever finished the episode? Oh. What this, do you want them to comment? This, uh, I had a good one. <coughs> Let me see. Just comment. Hey, yo, Bishop, but with four P's. With four P's. Mm-hmm. If y'all That's not what I was thinking of, but I just, I, I, I didn't have time to stay here and think of something else. Yeah, it's it's about to be 2 o'clock in the morning. My sister got school tomorrow. My mom's yeah. going to kill me. Uh, new merch coming soon. We love y'all. Thank y'all for tuning in. Subscribe, all that good shit. We're different than regular, no regulars, man. Gangsta. Gangsta. I'm going to go get it. I'm going to go get it. I'm going to go get it.